Hello, Couch Co-Opers, Couch Potatoes, and Couch Codependents. This is the Couch Co-Op Show, the greatest video game and beer podcast in the world. And I'm pretty fucking sure of that because I don't think there is another beer and video podcast. My monitors are dirty. In the world. Um, currently, it's just me. Um... Uh, I'd like to say that the other group is here. I invited people. I don't know. I mean, we don't record on Thursday nights. I just thought, like, fuck it. I'm going to do a birthday stream tonight. And this may or may not be an episode. This may never be. a. This, this is probably not going to be a podcast. It might be a podcast episode. People might pop into the Discord and chat with me. Some people may not. Who knows? But uh, right now, it's just me. And uh, and I'm Ian, by the way. <laughs> Thanks for finding. You can find us on social media platforms at Couch Co-op Shows, all one word, no hyphen. Uh, you uh, on all the social media, you know, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We're literally at Couch Co-op Shows. Uh, the same name. So yeah, if you find you come across a Couch Co-op that's not that, that's someone else. Well, tell them they probably don't. A, they probably don't have a red couch, and fuck them. And then, uh, you know, whatever. Whatever! You know what I'm saying? Uh, Anyway, you can find our podcast on all major platforms. iTunes, Google Play, Amazon. Uh, Amazon also includes, what is the fucking book? Uh, Whatever the book thing is. I think it's also on that, too, in their podcast area. And Spotify. Cool thing about Spotify is that they now do video podcasts, and we are a video podcast at this point, so you can see us talking if you didn't know that. If you have been listening to us for years and didn't realize that in the last year or so that you could watch us talk and say stupid things, you can totally do that. So on Spotify, they allow you to do that, or you can go over to my YouTube page, which is YouTube to- youtube.com slash milkmanpictures. And you can find a bunch of podcasts, and then you can find a bunch of old ass. You, <coughs> sorry, let me. I'm getting over a cold, like I have been for the last two years. Anyway, many of you don't know this. Some of you might know this. So the Couch Co-op Show actually started out as a YouTube show, and we did a YouTube show for a long time. And then Jared and I decided, actually pretty early on, we thought. I think about. A couple weeks after, we said, well, let's just do a podcast as a supplemental piece to the show. And so Jared and I started the podcast, which is what this is currently. This is the podcast. Even though we're streaming it live and it's video and all this shit, it was originally an audio podcast way back in the day. And it was something that we were like, all right, we'll do this. And so in the meantime, I was still producing this couch co-op show on YouTube with all the guys, and we were doing it, and blah, 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 having a good time, but it was so much work, and when you're not getting paid, and you're just doing it for free and fun, it's great, but it's like, oh my god, and you look at other people that are doing it nowadays, but they're getting it paid a shit ton, I wish I had just decided to say, let's go balls in and do it then, but we didn't do that, because I was working, and winning Emmys, and you know, all kinds of other stuff, so I felt my career path was on a different trajectory. In retrospect, I probably should have just quit my job and become a full-on like video game superstar. Anyway, we didn't do that. We didn't do that. So we just kept on keeping on. It, eventually, the show, the couch co-op show, kind of teetered off and just stopped because it was just too much work. Too much work for someone not getting paid to do it. So it's just like, okay, we'll stop that. But the podcast continued on. It's just me and my friends drinking beer, talking about video games. And that went on year after year. We take a break here and there, year after year, take a break. And then eventually, you know, got onto Twitch, started streaming it, decided, well, for streaming it, it might as well be a video on YouTube. So then it became a video podcast, even though mostly everyone who, mostly all our fans knew us as just an audio podcast. And then recently, Spotify is taking video podcasts. So it's just, it, it just all of a sudden became just this 
video audio podcast that it is today, the Couch Co-op Show. And today, we celebrate nine years, 300 episodes. Now, that roughly breaks down to 33 episodes a year over those nine years. And we should be a lot higher. Let's be honest. I mean, nine years, we should be... Uh, we should be in the 600s, maybe? I mean, we should have a lot more. Let's see, nine year. I don't mean, that's 300, 450. We should be close to 500 episodes at this point, you know? And it didn't happen. Uh, there's been a, you know, we're not, we're all doing this out of fun and hanging out. We don't do this for a living like the other podcast platforms do. They, they like, make money off of, we don't... We're trying. We're we're trying very hard not to make money off of any. We don't care about the money. Hey, us not making money says we can say whatever the fuck we want about people's video games and their platforms. Not to say that we wouldn't take money from someone, but they would still have to understand that we're going to talk complete shit about their platform. And I don't think anyone would ever take that deal. They want to be talked up, not talked down. And. Uh, Unless we were offered like millions of dollars, then we would say whatever the fuck, you know. Oh, you know, you know, you know me, Nintendo, Nintendo hater. If like Nintendo came in and said, "Hey, here's two million dollars to just shut the fuck up," I was like, "Oh, I love Nintendo. Oh, it's one of the greatest platforms. I mean, I play all my games. Uh, I I loved God of War Ragnarok on Nintendo Switch. You know what I mean? I mean, that's the kind of shit I would say, even if it wasn't true. You know what I mean?" <laughs> Oh god damn it. Anyway. So we don't charge you. We try not to charge you. Maybe I'll charge you in the I don't know. Man, shit's getting expensive. I need to charge I mean, I can't even afford beer right now. I'm fucking broke. Um shit is getting crazy out there, man. Everyone be safe out there, man. It's it's gnarly out there right now. <sighs> I kind of lost my train of thought. Um Yeah, anyway, so we made a podcast and uh during those nine years, there were times we were just chugging away, and then there were times where I just mental health, and I just had a break. I just couldn't do it. I just had to stop, and then we stopped. And like there'd be a pod, you know, we'd have a podcast every week, and then there'd be a point where like it'd be three months, and then there was a podcast. You know what I mean? It that's kind of how we've been, you know, because. We all have jobs. We all have real lives. Uh, we all do what we do. And, you know, then, you know, I felt like I felt bad for the audience because we have a good audience. We have people that have stuck with us for a long fucking time. And so it's just like, oh, we got to get back into it. Not that I, we needed, not that I felt like we needed, but I liked, I like talking about video games. I like hanging out with my friends talking video games. I like hanging out, drinking beer, talking shit. And uh, we have a diverse, uh, I'd like to say we have a diverse group. I mean, it's a bunch of white guys. It's like, it's like, what is it? At this point, it's six and a half white guys and a half Pacific Islander. Um, But like, you know, there needs to be more diversity. We have friends that are more diverse than us. You know, we probably need some more like women in the crew. But like at this point, what woman wants to be on a podcast? Let me be honest. Unless, like, with a group of guys talking bullshit, like, that's a hard sell. And I get it. We've had a couple. They've been they've been, they've been, been great. But it's like, you can't sustain, I mean, unless you're paying them. Not like, uh, uh, that's that sounds disgusting. But, like, in a work way. Like, you're here, you're coming here to do work. That's what I meant. Not, like, in a fucking weird way. Wow, this is already going off the rails. <clears throat> Mm. What I'm saying is I don't know any women that are just gamers that just want to shit talk games and drink beer like we do. Like uh, we don't have friends like I don't I don't have any female friends that are like that that just want to do that. They all have other things they're interested in. And that's fine. That's why that's how it is. I don't know. Maybe I I'm sure they're out there just not in our circle. They don't exist. So, uh, I don't think our, I mean, I think, you know, we have some diversity, I don't know, in our friends and some of the guests we've had on, but, um, yeah, the majority is white males on a couch. So we are the joke that is, 
what do you call four white guys on a couch? A podcast. I get it. That's that's a hundred percent accurate for the most part here. So, but you still can't take away the fact that we don't really give a shit about people. We're not trying to make money, and we're still just a bunch of friends that hang out, drink beer, and somehow we've made it nine years. 300 episodes so that's what tonight's about the celebration of stupidity in the face of complete stupidity uh we are the couch co-op show uh and uh i don't know what else to say it's for me it's been it's been a lot of work (laughs) uh i don't know why i keep I don't know why I feel the necessity to... I feel like if, it, if we just bailed right away, like after like episode 25, I would have been... At a certain point, I just felt like... I don't know. I feel like some kind of com- camaraderie and need to continue this on. And I don't know. The guys never really talked to me about any of this. I don't really, I don't even know if they really care about this show. Jared kind of. Everyone else just seems kind of like, meh. <laughs> I don't know. So why do I do it? I don't know. It's nice to have something you've done. I mean, it's funny. Our like, I mean, our 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 show's been a roller coaster. Our viewership's been a roller coaster. Like, we're not at the numbers we. I mean, we used to be destroying it. I mean, back in the like old school JPK days, we were killing it. Then we took a massive break. Then we came back. Then Scott jumped on. There was a slight rise in viewership. And then that kind of declined into COVID. That killed it. And then I feel like we've just been trying to nurse ourselves back to life ever since then. And we still have, we have had that steady, we've had a steady group of people that have stuck with us. But I mean, the heydays of those crazy episodes back at the, on the, we, what we would call the boardroom desk at John's. I mean, those were those are kind of the heydays. Hey, Kendall Wolf, what's up, brother? What's up, dude? Thank you again for dropping a, a video. I'm sure you saw your clip in the promo, and your full video is on the episode. We played your full video on the episode, so don't worry. I didn't cut it, you know. I didn't cut anyone. So anyone that submitted a video to the, the show... Uh, they got a little clip cut into the promo that I shared on all the social medias just to say, hey, hey, blah, 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 blah. But everyone got their full video played on the episode. And right now I'm just fucking drunk and talking about my experience doing this stupid show all these years. I mean, nine years. So, like, I don't know. I can't remember what really the... Uh... <sighs> I don't know. I just want to make a video game show. <laughs> John's joined the Discord chat, but he's not talking. Where are you, John? Oh, I know why. You're just being quiet. Say hey, John. Oh no, you're not in this one. Oh, I have to. Sw- oh, I know what it is. I have to switch. I'm sorry, John. It's only my mic here, brother. <laughs> This is my domain where I'm a single guy. Let me move it over to this. All right. Are you there? No, you're still not there. Why are you so... Why can't I hear you? Why can't I hear you? I have to go to Discord? Are you there? You're still not there. Why? Why? Oh, I know why! (laughs) Oh, what a stupid thing. Uh, let me, uh, I have the, oh man, Discord is a, is a, is a, is a temperamental bitch that, uh, that, uh, John's here, but he can't, uh, is it this one? Can you talk now? No, he can't. He can't. He's just, he's just texting me nervously. Uh, hey John, go back to couch co-op show. Leave this one. <laughs> I think it's that one. I think that's the reason. Uh, all right. Can you talk now? No. I said, what well, can I hear you? Can you hear me? Oh, I can oh, hear you now. 
My mic was off. Oh, was. you asshole. So I thought it was other thing, and then it's totally just you. That's my son for you, son of Oc- Milkman, Occam's everybody. Occam's razor. <laughs> yep, indeed. Holy shit. I was, uh, I guess I can go to Discord. I'm not using, I haven't popped out the, I was just going to have you just not be on camera. So you don't have to be on camera if you don't, I mean, I was just, uh, I was going to watch some stuff. So you're just here, you're just hanging out. Can, can you, uh, can I, can you put, turn your camera on? Is my camera not on? No, it just, it's just uh, your picture of you and your dog. There you go. Oh, my God. Yeah. You need to see me. All right. All I right. need to see disheveled. Dog. Are you watching the stream at all? Yeah, I was. Oh. I popped the stream. Huh? Oh, okay. So it's just me. I was just, you know, happy birthday. Happy uh, 300th, yeah. nine years, hey, 300. I'm impressed with the production value of that opening of the video. <laughs> That's a win, baby. Oh, did you watch the actual full thing? Yeah, I haven't watched the full. Well, I watched the intro where you had uh, Monty and. Uh, do you watch uh, all of the full? What Banana I'm saying is, Rama. do you watch all of the full video, like their full clips? Uh, no, I just watch whatever you had in the episode. That's what I watched. Right. So, so not the little, not the, the not the short little promo I made, but the like everyone talks oh, no, for it. Yeah. 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 Everyone talks. Yeah. There's also a everyone was doing their plugs. Right. I love that. Yeah. I was and like everyone was plugging away. Well, Good for fucking, Scott. Scott was plugging, plugging, plugging. <laughs> yeah. He's plugging both ends, three ends, four ends, <laughs> all the ends. That's uh, that's Scott though. That's what Scott does. He does that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I guess I have. To, I probably need to pop this out though because I need to minimize it. And I don't want the. Uh... Did you want to go back to the other channel? Now they figured out that my. No, no, this is wrong? fine. I just thought like okay. maybe we get flooded, but I could open up the chat. I was just being kind of proactive, but I don't need to be. It's fine. <laughs> it's stupid. But I heard your little your little history. Uh, yeah, that was intriguing. Right. I hope I didn't. If if you want to. No, you can. You, you have any questions about, the early about it? Days and how, how. Uh... So the highlight was two thousand. Listeners, congruent. Is that the word I'm? Whenever right we word, were. Please? Oh wait, wait, hold on a second. Ken Wolf, haha, nice. How did y'all like it? I figured since the last time I was on, I touched on VR, but I was just at the start of making content with it. No, I love the con. I love the. I love that you were the only one that said, "Fuck it, I'm gonna put a. Uh, I'm gonna put video game content in my. Uh, in my. Uh, in my video. That's why I decided to put anyone who was a Twitch streamer put their Twitch stream handle. So if anyone wanted to follow you, they could follow. But thanks, Ken and Wolf. Thanks for doing that. Anyway, John, go ahead. What were you saying? Uh, the You were just... It was it 2,000 you said at one point we were getting like... That was kind of like the average number. Was no, 2, wait, it wasn't 2,000. We didn't start this till... Uh, so we started this in, what, 2014? Something like that. And then, uh, no, because you weren't in. We It was like another year before like Dave and you were really in the show, mm-hmm. probably. Yeah, because you and Jared kind of wanted to keep it small and wanted to do I don't know. We like... were just trying to figure it out. We, were, we thought yeah. we were doing, at the time, and if you list, go back and listen to the first podcast episode, it's like, this is a supplemental piece to the show. We were thinking like anything we oh, didn't really God. cover in the show, we do in the podcast. Because we were doing that show every, we were trying to do that show every week. <laughs> yeah, I miss I miss having seen Bryn do her intros. That was cool. Like she she was a good face for the pod. Yeah, so it was not fun. That, not, not that I'm saying she's more than a she's definitely more than a face. You trying to objectify my wife, John? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to make it sound like I'm not objectifying her. <laughs> uh, no, so and she didn't even come in at the beginning. That was like the second season. So like there was the first season. Like, however many oh, months we were doing we that. Seasons. That's awesome. Dude, because then I was watching, and then we did that whole fucking Game Awards episode, which is our last episode we ever did. <laughs> anyway, it's, it's pretty crazy, all this stuff I tried to do, and maybe we should have just done the podcast from the very beginning. But I tried to incorporate everyone in the show, and then yeah. Jared and I would just do the podcast. But eventually, I think what ultimately happened is that we bailed on the show and then brought you guys into the podcast. And then that's that's really where Couch Co-op starts to take off. So, but, uh, but we had a lot of fun making those episodes. I mean, it was all, I mean, it was new to me and it was just fun to uh, go out and try something. Well, I was going to play one while we're talking, just in the background. Yeah, go, go for it. But, uh, 
yeah, so like the song, I mean, I mean, if you listen to this, it's not even, it's not even the original, it's not the Couch Co-op song, it's like Justin hasn't made the Couch Co-op song yet, it's just this other random song that he created. But, uh, and then the old ass logo. It's funny how it like just slowly kind of created, so, I don't know. But, uh, I don't know, it's just friends talking about video games. And it's kind of stupid, but I'm also kind of proud of it, you know? I yeah, the show, uh, man, this is cool. It's really cool to see, uh, I mean, you got, you had like a set, you had the TV going with the PlayStation, PSN in the background, and then, uh, you had the, kind of the couch <laughs> framed in for the guests or co-host. Right. Cuz Jared was Jared always going to be on for the show. Jared was, was always my co-host? shotgun. Jared was okay. Jared was always a part of the show. So Jared was never not going to be a part of the show. Jared would move depending or Justin, but I mean everyone was just always there. And yeah. then we always had beer and shit. I don't know, it was pretty gnarly. It's pretty stupid. I mean, that's for even the camera's great quality, like clear picture. I think one's uh, a, I, I mean, think one's an iPhone and one's my other cam, my DSLR. Nice. So I Man, just kept I, between that, them. When did you make the transition to just having a beer? Did you just grow it out and then you're like, I'm <laughs> when did that happen? When I just lose all faith in humanity? <laughs> it was during well, it was it, during the pandemic. I haven't done like it was the really? pandemic. Yeah, I thought I think, you started doing it earlier. I don't think so. Okay, it yeah, might have been. I think you're right. It might have been a little bit before the pandemic. It was during yeah. the. I think I had it during the the whole two B thing. So like when I dressed up as 2B, there's a photo of okay. me as wearing 2B's wig with the beard and then I shaved it off for the costume ultimately, I think. But I had a beard then. So that's kind of the so what is that? 2018? 17? 18? Mhm. Anyway. My face got really fat, John. <laughs> so I need this kind of makes it not look so fat. I look I don't know. It's all that beer hat. We're old. Well, That's like nine years ago. I mean, you look Ian. you look at some of this shit, and it's like, man, we look fucking young. Well, I yeah. I mean, I, I'm kind of glad I look less like a kid now. I mean, uh, <laughs> you just look the fucking same to me. What are you talking about? Well, I I yeah, how come you I didn't draw like your? How come you didn't like you know grow your hair long in the pandemic? Like Dave's got like long locks. Aaron had fucking crazy long hair for a long time. You missed uh, that. <laughs> uh, no, I was playing The Witcher three, and then I started playing uh, the first DLC. I forgot what it's called, and the character had a Ulfric, Ol- Ol- Ulfric, uh, Ulfried. Uh, he had a undercut. Ulfric. So I went. Yeah, I went and got the undercut, and that was my look pretty much during the pandemic. Nice. We got Little Terror in the chat, uh, one of the Dirty Dwarves. Super cool dude. Dude, I grew out my hair during the pandemic, too. Always buzzed my hair before that. You got to keep those long locks. The women love the long hair, dude. <laughs> it's, it's too much maintenance for me. I didn't... It is a lot of maintenance. I'm tired yeah. of it now, but it's like... Well, you just tie it back. I'm not saying you don't do more to it, but like I, I just didn't want to do that either. I just gotcha. had it hanging out, and then I just got tired of that. So I, I like the short hair. So let's talk about the show, though. Okay, John. Let's. Uh, do you remember? I don't know. Do you want to talk about the actual show? Or do you want to talk about the podcast? I mean, it's really the birthday. I mean, it's really more about the birthday of the podcast, even though the because the show technically is like a a month before it. So like do you even remember what your first episode was cuz I didn't go back and f- try and figure that out. Oh, it was when the the get when I guessed when I was the guest. I think I was like the No, I know, but do you remember what that episode was about? Guest? It was just origin story. I just no. remember uh talking about uh N64 and Legend of Zelda. Uh oh. that's what I mainly remember. Yeah, this production value for this episode you're playing is great. I mean, all the episodes are like this. It's not like it's a shitty show. <laughs> it's like I, I was like, part of me is always like, oh, man, I wish I just had all the free time so I could just go back and re remake. I would like, I would just convert Couch Co-op Show back to this. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? 
Like so if, if, if we, we were all together, table, yeah, no, if, we would do a multicam show. Yeah, I would if like if we could all just get together once a week and do this again, I would totally go back to just doing this show. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. I would just. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Did you see Little Terror's yeah. comment? Yeah, <laughs> Emmy. He already knows I have an Emmy. Yeah. He knows. He's aware. <laughs> I just I miss. That's what I always wanted the show to be. It's just like it's kind of just devolved back into the podcast, and then like we've slowly gotten back into a show in the sense that we're all on. So there's a video aspect of it, but it's not like a really video show. But well, I think it's great that because I noticed uh, I noticed with some. I think it's great you during the Spotify video. I think uh, to me that's a game changer, um, and I think it's great that even though you have the video portion, you don't restrict it. I mean, I don't know if you post it on your own YouTube page, but yeah, it's I think all on it's YouTube. That, it's all on YouTube. I think it's great that you proliferate it across different platforms. The only the only way people get it early if they want it is to check. You know, you can like generally if you want it like a day early. You can like basically you want it the night before you can like go to twitch.tv slash the couch co-op shows and watch us stream it because like we stream it and record it at the same time. So like that's hey. that's you get it a little bit earlier, but like who really cares, right? Oh, but we've already we, got, we I've we always been I've been adamant, show, but I've been adamant titties. about I don't really care about making money. I just I'm sure some of the other guys. My kid, well, I think but like, it's, an out, it's just an outlet for you. It's just yeah, it's just something you're, to do. You're a creative guy. I don't need to and do know, this for money. I mean, yeah. I mean, you, I'm making you millions, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, little terror! Nine years next year on Twitch, baby. Yeah, I've only been on. Tw- I've only been on Twitch since 2018. We uh, the show has 2018. So nine years. Yeah, fucking flies, right? But yeah, I'd like to go back to the show aspect of it, man. That'd be cool. I mean, it's a lot of work. So I would, I, think, uh, I mean, before uh, I did it, I would need to invest some money. So like we switched it live as opposed to me. I don't want to edit it anymore. I wouldn't like, so all these episodes were edited in post. So it's two cameras, but I'm editing them a lot. You know, I have to export all the footage, edit it. It's just, I'd rather just get a switcher. Or just use OBS and just switch back and forth and mm. just record it, you know, so it's not editing, you know. Uh, but then that requires someone else that I trust to do that. And then that would require one of you guys to, like, maybe not be on the show, you know. It requires someone else to do something, you know. It's it's one of those things. Like, you know what's funny about this is, like, obviously Aaron and Dave are here at this episode, but they're running cameras, you know. And then we would, oh, really? yeah. So that's how we would never, do it. So like, Jared would always be here, and Jared would always be on the show with me. But whoever was guest, they would alternate who was. So like, if Justin wasn't going to be here, then Dave or Aaron would be on the show, and then someone else would run a camera. And then they would alternate that. <laughs> you even have two TVs going. That's crazy. Yeah, there's a lot of work going on in this. Uh, we change it. It changes over time. It changes a lot. I mean, the show changes. Anyway, I would do it differently now, obviously, but I definitely would want to switch it and not have to. But I miss doing that. Yeah. It's more, uh, even the podcast, just talking in front of a mic and just this is this like sitting in the couch comfortable and just being goofy is more cool. Also, this was only ever 30 minutes. So I had a counter, I'd push, I'd really push, you know how I kind of like really try to like change people's like, you know, we're talking about something and I switch them and it's like, oh, it's time to go. Got to move on. Yeah. I really was, I was really like that here because I didn't, you know, I didn't want to ever record something over 30 minutes. I don't want an hour long TV show. (laughs) So I was very like, okay, time to move on. Well, especially if you're doing the whole editing. Oh, yeah. yeah. It probably took you an hour, oh, yeah. an hour and a half just to edit everything for a 30-minute episode. The podcast allows us to just fuck off and just do whatever the fuck we want, and it didn't matter, you know? It's just like, meh, fuck it. We can talk as long as we want. So that's that's why the Tony Death episode is probably our longest episode in almost two hours and 40 minutes long. <laughs> yeah. 
and people will watch it in many parts. And that's wait, cool. hold on. Uh, that's one question because I was watching that episode today, and like you did such a great job editing uh, Tony's wife. Oh yeah, out you of even the know. episode. Yeah. And you don't even to You'll, the point where you even edited out us talking about it. I'm like, where? Like, how? The so fuck? if you're listening to it, you'll you would never know that happened. If you watch it, there is a little. I put a little photo in. That's that. There's a photo that I don't know if you remember this, John, but uh, we. I don't think you were around. I think this was like during the Mappy Man days. Uh, we sent a care package to 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 Tony Death. And we had all these like gifts and stuff, but there was a note that said Tony Hart's Dave or Dave Hart's Tony. So okay. like, there's That's a little, hilarious. there's a little, there's a little like four second, like clip where I have to like pop it in there because there's uh, there's nothing I can use. I have to put something in there. So like, if you were watching it, you would know. Oh, what's what happens here? But if you're just listening to it, you would never. No, yeah, you would have never I known was, that happens. No, I I was I was kind of shocked. I was like, damn, what the fuck. Yeah, little terror. Uh, we're we're interviewing our probably our greatest fan, and uh, his fucking wife just walks in and big titties just hanging out and like yeah. like uh, did that just happen? <laughs> well, she walked in bare back. Oh yeah, and then turns around. I'm sure all of us were just like uh, squinting our eyes. Well, Jared wasn't paying attention. <laughs> For real? Oh, that's right. Because he's like, what happened? What happened? What happened? And there was that's part hilarious. of me that was like contemplating the idea of asking him and being like if i don't show it but like it's the audio is going but i was like ultimately it's like nah fuck that i'm just gonna get rid no, of I it think all you made the right call i think you so too because right then you just like you have no no one knows it's not important and then yeah. those who were there will be like oh man that's crazy well when dave posted on discord that what, what was his comment that there won't be any boobs or something like that and you no, he wanted that. to have a girl he was talking about having a girl for the next podcast because I'm not going to be there or something. Oh, no, I mentioned it to him. Oh, this is great, John. So, like, that night after everyone left, I stayed on and talked to my friend Danny, and then Dave got back on. Oh, really? Late night, like 11 or 12 or some shit, and we were talking, he's like, oh, and I told him about the fact that that happened. That's why he posted uh, that. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's why he knew that happened. Yeah, he knew. Yeah, but he yeah. was like oh, I super need to excited. Schedule a naked lady guest yeah. appearance. Yeah, yeah, that's... yeah. That's we had talked about it, and it was, I thought it's hilarious. But he's like, he's not gonna. He's he missed, but he missed it all. He should have been there. Waka waka waka. <laughs> I didn't know Tony had a hard on for Dave even that far back ago. <sighs> I think he's always had a hard on for Dave. That's hilarious. <laughs> So what are some of your favorite memories of the show, though? We didn't really, because we're, we were so focused on Tony, we didn't really celebrate much of the show on our episode. But, like, you know, maybe this is with, you know, I might release this as an episode, actually, if we're going to keep well, talking. So I was just like, what, do you, what is your, not necessarily, uh, you know, of the podcast, but just like, you know, being a part of it all. What do you remember? Like, personally or as a listener? Because I've been both. Either. That's a good point, though. You were a listener. Just laying, yeah. just little little John laying in his low. bed. <laughs> uh, no, I think I think on it. Uh, I think it's great that you've you'll do more production stuff here and there. Like when you did the Elden Ring episode, and then when you did the Mass Effect episode with Dave recently, and you had the background music. Like you're trying to create uh, an atmosphere to intro this uh, specially themed episode, or at least to say, hey, this is different than the. Yes, Other ones. exactly. <laughs> um, and I think uh, I like the episode where it was just you and Nick. I forgot which game you guys were talking about. Was it God of War or something? Or there's one episode where like it was just you and Nick, and I was like pleasantly surprised. Oh, that Nick right, right, right. No, it wasn't God like, of Nick War. Nick was almost the host. Like that was he just kept asking you questions. That was the Saints Row episode. Yes. He yeah, just kept like asking me. He hadn't played it, but he just kept asking me questions about the game. Just these like thoughtful yeah. questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and I think, uh, I think like when you guys came back, like during COVID or something, like a lot of those episodes were pretty good. 
You know, it was just, you know, and part of it too was having been away for so long and coming back. It was just kind of, it was just funny to slowly start remembering how you guys talked and your interaction and um, your personalities again. I think it's funny because like, I think we kind of, we kind of did our first massive run. And then at the, at, at the period of time where you're about to leave to Vegas and I'm going through some stuff. We had gone through, you and I had gone through some stuff and then I had gone through some stuff with my wife. I think there was a break there where it kind of just like, I think, and then there was, I think everything just kind of got tired and kind of, that kind of like, that was kind of like our first major break. Mm -hmm. And then when we re-upped, we we were kind of doing it here and there. And then when we re-upped and then Scott joined, you know, we had a really strong run. And then this is like just so and then, you know, just this kind of the drama was how I how I f- the relationship was between Scott and I and it's no one's fault. Just misunderstandings and miscommunication and just how we see things and then how everyone else, how the rest of the group kind of saw things. I just was tired again and I just burnt out again. So it's happened, you know, it happens. It just I don't know how some podcasts, I think you, and maybe it's me, maybe I'm just a fucking drama queen and, but I know I, I, you know, I suffer from some depression and some stuff and then I get it in my head and I deal with stuff poorly and I agree a hundred percent I deal with stuff poorly. So like then I just can't then function things, you know, I can't do the show, you know? And, uh, I really, now that we're on kind of our, you know, and then the show kind of happened here and there. But then eventually it was just like, okay, let's re-engage. And like, this is like the third time. And I just feel like, um, I think we're like on a way more positive energy now. And, yeah. uh, and now what I'm trying to do, listeners, <laughs> viewers, you know, I kind of want to see if I can hand off the recording reins to Dave, you know, and, you know, to, uh, I mean... It's kind of funny that I said 300 episodes and I'm out, but like I kind of need a break because like I've really like if you think about it, I did the that three hour episode with Tony, I did the other episode with Dave that same week, and I did the and then I did the other I did the other episode with with uh, Nick the beer episode. So I've just I've been creating a lot of content. This week I have a lot of other stuff going on with the band and stuff, and I just like. I could really try to set a side of time to record, but I just really need to not push myself to do that all the time. I, I, I really yeah. tried to burn myself out before. I do not need to do that. <laughs> no, I hear you. And so it's like, hey, you guys go record something. And I would like, I honestly would like it if you guys wanted to do stuff without me, you know, now that Dave knows, maybe you and Dave could hook up and say, hey, like, let's talk about this or let's talk about that. Or, or even like if you guys wanted to do not like a full beer review, but like how Nick and I did like a beer review. Like if, if like John and Dave wanted to do a full chilada review of all the Modelo's chiladas, maybe you and Dave could do that one episode, you know? <laughs> uh, probably not. But, uh, I you know, think Dave would be offended that he would have to pay money for <laughs> probably. beer that he's just going to throw out. Probably. But like, I would like to, you know, re instill that, like you guys, you know, you guys could create some content and like, but not on Sunday. Like, we'll come back and Sundays will be our day and we'll do Sundays. But, like, you know, if you guys have, like, a day that you guys want to get together and record something, I'd be happy to package that couch co-op it. Cause, or couch co-op it, you know? It could be either. Yo, Johnny Rocket. First time chat. You just fucking Johnny... Johnny boy. All right. There you go. You just took a shot to celebrate. We'll have a... I'll have a beer. I'll, have, I'll, take, a, I'll take a swig. What up, Johnny? We got we got two of the three dirty... Right, isn't there three dirty doors, but there's only two because one's dead? I don't know. Not, like, really dead. But, like, just dead. But not really dead, but just kind of dead. There was three, haha. Anyway. Yeah, so... I don't know, John. Well, I don't even know where so I was. So how do you... What, what a... What recording is Dave using? Is he just using? Uh, so I use OBS on and then I use OBS okay. in mine, and then I told him to just uh, install because I said I don't think you should. Tr- oh, I didn't really tell him anything. I use OBS. 
Use OBS. It's easy to record it. Um, but if you just want to do the audio, he could just do Audacity or something. I'm fine with just doing, you know, audio. If you guys just want to do audio, that's fine. I'll just put a photo up. But uh, hilarious. But uh, I think he's gonna do OBS and stuff. So, and I told him that he's he hasn't really contacted me. I think he's got it under control. Hopefully, so we'll see. I'm. Uh, my phone's gonna be off on Sunday because I'm gonna be in the recording studio all day. So. You won't really be able to get a hold of me. <laughs> no, I thought that was hilarious on Discord that when we were taking, well, you guys were. I didn't vote, uh, but when you guys were taking votes about what time to do it, and you were like Sunday. Everyone, yeah, no, I like just like I, I was kind of like I just I don't want to do anything this weekend. I need to focus on this band thing, and uh, and then ultimately, everyone picked a different day, and then Jared's like, oh, I could do Sunday. I was like, well, I'm just going to move your vote to Sunday then. <laughs> and then I'm going to delete. Jared can't do Saturday. So that means Nick's choice of Saturday is out. And I don't, and I had to take out Friday because this is very cool. This is also, this is totally different. I do this podcast. This is cool. But tomorrow, I'm very excited. The feature film I've been working on with my production partner, Monty Wolf. We oh, are finally nice. watching the final cut tomorrow together. Hopefully. Hopefully we will watch it and put our stamp of okay on it. And so it's very exciting. So that's what's happening tomorrow. So I had to cancel Friday. Well, you guys could have recorded Friday, but I had to can I just I just decided no one seemed to want Friday, so I deleted Friday off of that list. <laughs> but yeah, so my film I'm gonna hopefully it's finished tomorrow and I'm very excited to finally see it. It might be emotional, so I might record something for that for later for people anyway that doesn't really matter but um yeah so that's happening anyway so it ended up being like sunday and monday and i was just like can you guys just do sunday (laughs) and i don't i don't want to record i need a break and i think it'd be funny just be like ah the 300 episode killed ian he's done just to be funny you know just it's kind of a funny thing and, you know, I want to trust you guys to do this stuff. I hope, you know, I hope you guys have fun. I don't want to pick the no, topic. I think it's great that you're pushing it. That's why I was asking for the Back back for Blood. Like, uh, if we could get one more play session. And that could be an episode in itself, just reviewing Back for Blood. But even but even if you guys is. did that finally again, I'd be cool with you guys talking about that on the show. I, I mean, I still have a lot of ideas for the show. I just, I just feel like at a certain point, I can't think that it's just I part of me wants to think that it's not just me forcing this upon you guys and that you guys have a little interest to just do it on your own. Not that I want you to just go off and do it without me because I want to be a part of it. Obviously, we're a group, but like I I realize that I force so much upon you guys. (laughs) You know, hey, we're doing this now. Hey, we got to do this. Hey, Tony Ness is coming. Well, hey, we're, you what, know what I mean? What exactly? Because I never felt for. No, uh, I know, I know. But it's like, if I wasn't doing it, we wouldn't be doing this at all, right? That's uh, a good point. There's a bunch of wrangling. So I have this crazy idea, John. And you'll be when do you get married? When do you get married? When's your? Do you, I mean, you're moving back, but do you I have think a date? We're playing on 2024. 2024 but do you have a month no oh man well she's your pre-wife she's your fiance it's fine she could be your pre-wife like like uh like nick hopefully you'll be back in this back in uh, situation is a little different than mine (laughs) (laughs) yes uh but hopefully you'll be in oregon by then so i thought this is just a this is like a I had this idea today and I want to share it. I haven't been able to talk with any, anybody about it, but like for the decade. So like la- next year, it's going to be a decade of the show and we'll be yeah. close. We'll be close to 500 episodes and you'll th- you'll be like, but there's only, we're releasing a lot of content this next year with the 80 some episodes of couch co-hop, uh, the continued put out of, uh, milkman and reverend. And then the hopefully 40 to 50 episodes of couch co-op. We're going to be very mm. close to 500. Whether we hit 500 this time next year, I don't know. Whatever. But I want to do a decade like epi- like a celebration of the show. But I would th- I thought it'd be funny to make a little documentary about like 
the housewives of couch co-op and then it has nothing to do oh, with us cool. yeah, and we yeah. just interview the wives and pre-wives and how much of a burden it's been on them or not you know it just be more of a funny thing in that retrospect so that's kind of the angle i'm pushing for next year just so well I, ellen and bren yeah. are like the oh, elder yeah. sisters yeah and then even ashley and you know and Anyway, I think it'd be funny. I think it'd be a great kind of. I don't know if we'll get Nick's pre-wife to do it. Your your pre-wife, she's quite pretty indifferent to it because like she's so new to it. But uh, <laughs> I mean, she probably doesn't like. Oh, he goes talks to his friends in his room for an hour. Bah, not a big deal. But like the amount of time that Jared and Dave and Aaron have had to give up to me must be mind-boggling. I'm not. <laughs> Like I, I'm sure I've caused some fights, right? I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. I don't know what their relationships are like. Yeah. No, I just think it, you know, more, more. Some couples are more dependent on each other. No, um, but so but just, are... but even just like, what do you think of the show? What do you think it means to your husband? What you know, just kind of simple questions, like you know, just kind of like kind of frame like. What do you think happens on these podcasts? You know, what do you think? You know, I don't know. Just some kind of silly stuff that I don't know. I'm hoping that it's like some content that I can like kind of then pull from other episodes and kind of like, I don't know. It'd be just kind of a funny thing. I think it's a great idea. That's kind of what I want to do. Because like, I don't want to do this again next year, you know. I need a different angle. What, to have make Tony it... Death back on? Yeah, well, I don't want to. Well, I honestly think we'll have Tony Death on again. Like, he really wants to be on I hope again. So, so I he's think, hilarious. So like this was that this year was special for that. We did this. You know, you got to keep every year fresh, right? I don't know. I feel like well, hopefully we'll be more. Uh, it'd be more fun to get engagement from the audience. Yeah. Well, that's the other thing. So that's the other thing, audience. Our our four friends that are hanging out and hanging out with us. Engaging the audience is something that we lack currently, and we were doing really well previously, but I think everyone just said, fuck it, and we just don't care anymore. And I don't really know uh, well, I do know how, but I just how to re-engage the guys to then, like, I can share it, but Everyone needs to start sharing it again, and just no one really does gotcha. that. Either. I mean, I don't really share it anymore either. I mean, I was kind of surprised that I posted that promo on Facebook, and it got all these shares and likes and views, and it's like, <sighs> that's what I need to be doing with every episode, but I haven't been doing that. I haven't been doing that. I just don't care. You know, part of me is like, so like, we almost need a social media manager. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I don't want to be, <laughs> I don't want to do it. I don't think anyone wants to do it. No one likes doing social media in this group. Really? My younger sister's a social media manager. Yeah, but I don't want to pay her. <laughs> Come on, John. Come on, John. There's no way I'm going to pay What's her. What's the couch co-op budget? Let's talk about budget here for a second. Uh, We don't ask for any money, so we don't have any money <laughs> but what are some of your favorite memories from the uh do you i mean it sounds like you break up the show in three stages between I, I, the podcast the, i do i feel like the the actual show is another segment so there's like four segments i, I guess i would say so what are your some of your favorite memories um or, or what's what's a memory that was there a moment where you just something clicked inside of you that's like oh we're gonna be doing this for a while, or has it always been? I know you'll joke that oh, man, we're know. still doing this, but there's never been has a there point. Ever been like that's that's some funny shit, man. Do I ever did I think we were doing this? We would be doing this forever. I don't. You know when we hit a hundred episodes. I was like, ah, oh, shit. I feel like, and then everyone was, because at that point, I think all of us were vibing on it. Mm -hmm. Like, 
uh, I don't think it, I don't think it, I don't think it happens to like 150 where we start like kind of disintegrating for the first time. <laughs> but I feel like, oh shit, we're all really enjoying this. And then at that time, I'm really big into podcasts. I'm listening to my friend, you know, other podcasts I really enjoy. It's like, oh, we could do this. Um, but I, it's funny. I don't know if it's that's a weird hard one, John, because I feel like I could also just step up and walk away. But I also feel like Jared and Dave. I think Aaron would. I think Aaron could easily be done with it right now. Um, I think when you walked away, when you moved. But I still think Jared and Dave. I think they would have had a hard time if I walked away for good. I think they really still dug it, even though. Oh yeah, and uh, I don't know. I'm a Leo, so I'm incredibly loyal to my friends. <laughs> and uh, that's I know that's a stupid thing. If you don't believe in signs, I get it. But um, I am incredibly loyal to my friends, and I also still I am also as a Leo. I'm incredibly vain, so doing it is something that makes me, you know, is attention. Ah, so like it 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 does two things for me. It, it, there's two dopamine rushes like hey my friends enjoy doing it so I want to keep doing it and B I like doing it because it makes me feel good because I'm the center of attention but You're creating yeah and that's the other thing it's just creating and like so there's something cool about there's something cool about making something with your friends come on I mean you've had those friends that you like you just hang out with and then that's just how they are or there's your there's I mean certain... you guys are pretty much you guys are my longest running friends at oh. this point. And that's but there's a reason for that, right? It's not like we just like oh we're just the dudes that we we drink beer and smoke cigarettes and say hey. There's something slightly more maybe slightly more you know interesting that's like well these guys kind of well, do I think this I... stupid thing and I don't think it's stupid. I like to be a part of it. It's fun. And so like that's I, attractive I treasure, to you, right? No? You're not attracted to that or I treasure our our time more that I'm older than when I was first on the show. Maybe I took it for granted or um maybe I just thought it was a phase. But I, I think uh I just got some more mileage in me and I had more different relationships with different people. Um and I think it is just more fun to go back, come back to the show and start listening to it at first before, uh, cause I wasn't even thinking of being on the show. I just wanted to pay you compliment cause, uh, I still had your number and I was just like, this show, this show is still funny. It's still <laughs> going. It's still fun to listen to. Well, you're like, one of my best friends, really... John. I mean, it's like, I mean, we yeah. missed you. You just kind of walked away, but you didn't have to walk. I mean, at the time we didn't have the discord thing and blah, blah, blah. And so I get it. You walked yeah. away, and that makes sense. But, like, now it's stupid. Like, if you wanted to be a part of it, there's no reason why you can't be a part of this shit. Like, you know? So, like, I'm going to put it on your case. If you don't want to be a part of it, that's cool. I respect it. But it's like, dude, it's fucking easy. <laughs> and do you miss it? Like, yeah. do you miss just, like, bullshitting with your friends? I don't know. I don't know. I I mean you'll always be one of my closest friends so like I'm not you know I always like it when you reached out and we were kind of ch- chatting here and there here and there you know I learned that you were getting married and stuff and then I don't I don't really remember what the like I feel like a few weeks later or something it's like do you just want to be on the show <laughs> and then it's like do you just want to come back to the do you just want to be on the show it's like it's not that hard. <laughs> One of my friends, he he listened to the first episode I was back on, and he was just like, "You look terrified." <laughs> I was like, "Oh man," and I was just like, "I mean, yeah, I didn't really think, of, I didn't really think at the time, I didn't think I w- I was nervous, so that's why I didn't think you I were nervous. I didn't terrified. think you, I didn't think you lost a step, dude. You know what I always love about you, John, is that you just you still, I know you." I know you're getting old. You're you're still going to always be younger to us, but yeah. you always just ask these very youthful young questions. Just like 
you don't care. You just like ask the questions that I feel like some people just wouldn't be bothered to ask. And I really appreciate that because it's always just like it resets the tone. It resets like even with Tony last week. It's like, you know, you just like you ask a question, it just kind of resets the tone. That's so great. And uh, I appreciate that fully. Like some of the guys, you know, they're kind of in it in their own way, but I don't know. I think that's super cool. And I've always really appreciated it. Even like before you've always at, you know, you're just very, you have always have had this very like inquisitive mind. Like just now, mm-hmm. you know, you ask questions that are just like, it seems like a basic question, but I know I haven't answered it. And that's just really cool. So I really appreciate that. So that's something I've always appreciated. So I'm going to give you that. There you go, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> I think it's, I, I think it's fun coming back and just like, uh, like Jared is, funnier than i remember oh like, he's gotten uh, saucy he's he got a little his, salty he he has his own quips here and there and like uh he he can be kind of short but in a funny way and then his uh, time is short <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean his time oh because he has all these kids, the kids now right? he's he ain't got no time for yeah. fuck around <laughs> yeah I mean, it's hilarious when he talks about Metroid Prime and or or Legend of Zelda. Like, he get those are like trigger issues for him now. If you bring up, oh, what about Metroid on the new Switch? And he's like, I I've given up on that game. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, you could still, but he still like you can uh, you can egg him on about it. Like, it's a trigger for him. For sure. Uh, here, here's the first one my wife was on. Can you believe she married me? Like, what's up with that? Anyway. <laughs> oh man, I even did the change in the. Oh, this is this is the cha- this is the weird couch co-op. This is where we started doing segments. Oh man, we really tried to be a TV oh, show. Wow. We really tried to be a TV Damn. show. This is this is with like not a gamer review and jason man that should come back oh Monty's i know all that shit all that shit should come back dude anyway me jerking off my boys yeah all that shit <laughs> uh anyway i don't know bro but uh the podcast is probably just where it's gonna stay i don't know i don't know man it's crazy to see dave with short hair yeah right Oh God! I, that that's hilarious. Oh, we switched the sides. Man, I, I'm. I know Jason's doing his thing. I still think he should just come back. <laughs> just come on, please. <laughs> just come back. <laughs> like just, just like. Yeah, come make a brewery just, and then also build a little studio yeah. off to the side at which we can make couch co-op. Yeah, that's a that's a good side money. Just do like a pr- production studio on the, attached to your brewery. It's, I mean, it, I guess maybe. <sighs> anyway, nah. I mean, it's been a good run. We've had a good run. I think. <sighs> My fear right now on this is stupid. This is morbid as fuck. Uh, which one of us dies first? This is where I'm at right now, man. <laughs> this is like, oh, I can't. We should probably talk more about this, like when you come back to town. But I mean, I have been suffering from. I think awful, Tony dies first. I I suffer from awful night terrors. That are just like really? Oh, it's recently or just no? I've had it forever, but they have gotten a lot worse. So I think my anxiety and my stress is like at an all-time high, and I'm just worried that I'm gonna have a heart attack or some shit. That's kind of one of the you reasons. See it. That's kind of one of the reasons I want like Dave to like start recording just in case I fucking I'm out for a. You a think while. that would uh, alleviate some of your? Uh, anxiety? No, just in case I die or I have to go into the hospital, at least the guys can still record. <laughs> You should go see a professional. Oh, I know I should. Oh, I know I should. I mean, I'm just. I mean, you don't. You can. I'm really poor right now. You can try a slew of them. You don't have to just like pick one and stick with them. I'm really poor right now, John. So. 
It's a dark time in the rebellion. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, I didn't know about these. Uh-oh. Oh. Jared's jumping on. His ears oh, are shit. his ears are burning. His ears are burning. Oh my god, this is an impromptu episode now. Yeah, it is an impromptu episode. Jared, you might want to like open this just uh, this Twitch stream. You can turn the audio off, but you might just want to watch it just to so you have some engage hey, what's going on here. I can't hear you. Oh, I, I we can hear you. We can hear you. Oh well, he'll be on in a minute. <laughs> oh, he's testing his stuff right now. This might be episode three hundred two, and I might bail on the next episode. Now, <laughs> he he just preload all your appearances now. Yeah. Hey, hey, you hear us? There you go. Got us? Yeah. Hey, you might want to open up. I don't know, just like in a little window, open up the Twitch stream just so you can see what's going on. You don't okay. have to. You is, don't have. You don't have to have the audio on. But we're, is there uh, a crazy echo? No. No. That's just okay, you. Just on my side. That's probably All just right, on you. Whatever. Side. Um. Man, I, I remember when Geometry Wars was like a huge ass game. That's not it's Geometry Wars. Funny, that's though. Stardust. That's Stardust. Stardust HD. Oh really? Yeah, Stardust HD. Oh wow. I remember Jason was like, <laughs> wasn't that a three D? That was a three D game. Because so, that was like one of the games he would play on his 3D TV. No, that's way too that's way too much graphics for Geometry Wars. Geometry Wars was a flat screen. Yeah, Stardust oh, is like yeah, a globe. A show. Yeah, Jared. So we're kind of running there through some of the shows, just kind of for happy birthday. We're just kind of <laughs> chatting and yeah, that's cool. Well, I I won't be able to chat for a very long time. I just thought it'd be fun to swing in and say hi. Well, then we should ask questions of Jared, John. Do you have any questions for Jared, John? Do you miss Sponge Boobs, Jared? <laughs> oh, he he was great. Now he's just kind of hanging out behind Ian, but he doesn't have his uh, brassiere. <laughs> Jared, how long did you th- when I asked you to like do the show and then the podcast? How long did you honestly think it would last? I didn't have a thought about that. Like I, I didn't think of an end. I, I didn't. Uh, that's the I positivity just, like, that's driven us forward for all these years. <laughs> yeah. Well, as as you know, like whenever you say, "Oh, I don't know what to think about this," and I'm just like, "Hey, let's just uh, go with it." You know, I, I've never been like big on like the creative side of it, but I've always been like, "Hey, let's let's just get this done. Let's do this." Was there ever a point so, you thought the show would end? Uh, I don't know. Like maybe our first big long break because we've had several of those. And, uh, I mean, things got a little critical for a while, but, uh, everybody mended their wounds and, uh, we all, we all came back. There was that time where Dave and I were vying for power. Yeah. Yeah. You both wanted to be (laughs) the ultimate host. (laughs) Really? Oh yeah. They. Yeah. I don't know how I got so jealous and like insecure about it. Now I don't really give a shit. It kind of what happened there was then like that's what that's what spurred on the next thing was Scott because then like Scott and Dave fell in love with each other, and yeah. then my whole thing with Scott was like this dude barely, kn-. and so I like that's why I kind of closed down it again. So it's just my jealousy, John. It kills the uh, episode. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yeah, that's funny. And now I'm just trying to pass it off and be like, hey guys, make some content for me. <laughs> oh, I got rid of that echo. Jeez. I, I had on OBS the monitor set to on. Oh yeah. You gotta make sure. Yeah. Like you want some of the audio to go out, but you you can monitor them all on one sometimes, depending. Yeah, yeah you gotta be really careful about that shit. That's kind of one of the things I'm concerned about when Dave does OBS is like, well, you got to make sure the audio is being monitored and outputted. Yeah. <laughs> so make sure, make hey, Jared, make sure he does some recording tests with everybody before he does it just to make sure he gets all you guys. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I might try to get on a little earlier just so we can doink around a little bit. He hasn't really asked me any questions, going. so I'm figuring he's got it all figured out, but I just, you know, just make sure he's, 
<laughs> He's got it. I don't want to I mean, question. Which which program do you record with? OBS. I stream yeah. and record in OBS. Okay, it's that, easy. that's the. I used OBS to record my daughter's uh, Girl Scouts video. Yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. Per- it's great. It works great. It's wonderful. Yeah, it it's does. one of the most powerful. Com- like, you you have. Uh, I mean, that's what most of the uh, gaming leagues, like whatever gaming, like COD League or whatever, they all use OBS. Some actual soccer over, you know, FIFA leagues use that shit. Yeah. OBS is incredibly powerful. Um, you just sometimes you just got to make sure that it's, you know, just. Dave, I trust Dave. Dave's got it. He he knows, but just in case, he, yeah, make yeah, sure he make sure he records like you guys talking for ten seconds and then checks it, and then. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So like on Discord, he can modify like the voice output of each person. So like, yeah, because like, so yeah, I you mean, bring he, in he you can bring in Discord as an input, and then he yeah. can adjust the audio levels within Discord, and then you can adjust his audio to match Discord's audio level. Yeah. That's what I do. And then he just needs to record. But my bigger fear is the fact that he will he can hear himself and hear you guys, but when he hits record, OBS doesn't hear you. Like, it's not on there. So, yeah, those are things just to be I gotcha. cautious of. But he hasn't asked me any questions, so I'm not... I'm not gonna. Pr- I'm not. I'm not trying to be. I'm not gonna be pushy. It's just like, hey, you know. I, like, I mean, there, I already, a good already chance re- he hasn't had time to look at. It's it. It's true, <laughs> but you know, it's he's probably on watching top. He's probably watching Jeremy Clarkson's farm right now. So that's cool. Yeah. What I mean is, it's like, so. you know, I I recommended some certain things. I was like, hey, this and this, and he's like, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Sorry. Yeah, funny. Well, let's see if he's uh, online. I tried to get everyone. I tried to get everyone in here, but. He's yeah, I busy. thought I'd swing in because I know it was uh, for our special event here today. This might actually be an episode because John and I have been having a wonderful chat, and it just seems it's been kind of fun. And now that you showed up, I think this because we didn't get to do any of this while Tony was on because Tony was just like kind of shooting took, the shit, yeah, shooting the shit. So we we're just gonna do what Tony wants, but we didn't do any of this kind of reflection on the fact that we've been doing this for nine years three you know 300 episodes and so this is kind of fun like i was like i didn't actually think any of you guys would get on i was gonna like talk a little bit and then show some episodes and kind of comment on the episodes but then john popped in and asked all these cool questions and we've been having a great chat so yeah well i'm i've i've been out in my garage for a bit because my my parents called and i was chatting with them for a while and uh so i'm like huh it's been quiet. I, I should just jump on and see what, uh, what they're talking about. And so far, nobody's ran through the door screaming or anything like that. So that's uh, that's great. They, they don't know I'm out funny. here chatting with you guys. You know, it's 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 wild. I, I love having my garage set up, which, um, as you guys know, I finally got myself a real desk. It's not a piece of plywood and two sawhorses yeah. anymore. So that's nice. <laughs> I, I I have my webcam on a tripod uh, right now, so I I upgraded that so I can move that how I need to. Uh, You know, eventually something I thought you know about the beer cam you're thinking about setting up. If we if we move forward with Aaron's mobile minute, we'll need a clock cam. Oh yeah, yeah, (laughs) that's right. (laughs) That's funny. Okay, yeah, I I get that. But uh, no, if we keep it with our birthday and stuff. Uh, Jerry, what are just some of your favorite moments? What have been some, you know, with the show? What, what, what? Is there anything like you really that really stands out and like? Oh, well, honestly, I think some of the most fun things were uh, a lot of the video stuff that we did. You know, because that that was all being interactive, and you know, uh, of course, before the before times when we could actually get together and do this kind of stuff uh that of course is going to be the best and in in the beginning of course when when i was inviting a lot of my old friends and stuff like that in that was great just being able to chat with and visit with people i hadn't seen for a long time so i i have a lot of fond memories of that john and i were talking uh, about it and like if when john moves back i know if we can figure out a way to do it I would like to go back to the format of the show, the 30-minute show. 
Yeah. And doing it in person on a couch, you know, quickly running through things. And what do you feel about like actually taking couch co-op show back to being a couch co-op show? Versus the podcast, but it would still be a podcast. You could still hear us talk about things, but like we'd still service both things, but it would just go back to that original idea. What do you think about that? Oh, I, I think that it is going to run into the same hurdle as it did the first time where it ends up being too much work for you and uh, it gets more annoying and monotonous than anything. Exactly. So I had talked to John about that too, where like <laughs> if, but I, but here's the other thing. So black magic switches have gotten cheaper. I can get a cheap one. I could probably get it from, I could probably get it on credit and pay for it. So then I wouldn't have to edit the show. It would just require me to teach one of you, probably multi, multiple of you, how it works. And then we could start, I wouldn't have to edit the show, basically. At the end of the night, we would have the show. So, like, after we were done, the show would be done. All I would have to do is post it. So, like, there is a future where things could go back to that, the original idea, and it not be this crazy amount of work for me. So, so like, you're, you're talking this uh, would be like like controlled fades and uh, camera switches and stuff like well, that. Well, here's the other thing. And... You can do that all through OBS. Yeah, yeah. I have, and I OBS, have that set up. I just, uh, OBS has a multi-viewer. You click phones. on them. It just, yeah. So I would use, I would use probably just multiple, you know, iPhones, you know? And I would just yeah. be like... Hey, here's the close, you know, because here, if you look at the show here going on right now, it's only two cameras. Yeah. It's my close up. Maybe, maybe it's other people's close up too, but like they're moving it to a close up. So like someone moved it here. So like, that's the same camera. They just moved it to Aaron. Yeah. So like I could teach you how video production, it, it would take us a while to get into the mode of it, but I could teach you how to do it. And then. You know, I think yeah. then that's because these episodes used to take me forever to edit. But if at the end of the night it's already been done, whatever mistakes were ma- were made, Are fuck made. it, we're just go that they were made. It's uploaded <laughs> now, you know. But the yeah. audio's still fine. So when we post it to the audio, no one cares. They just hear the podcast. You know what yeah. I mean? The video will get there, and that's kind of exciting to me, kind of fun, and I feel like that could be the future. We could do an hour long. I mean, I don't know. It could be it I whatever. I'm just like I'd like to get back to this cuz this was fun. This was the original yeah. idea. And I feel like we could probably start meeting again at some point. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that that'd be great. I mean, it it gets a little easier as like my my children get older. You know, it's a little easier to leave the house and it's not as stressful on my wife, you know, that kind of stuff. So, you know, life life has to change, you know, for all that to take place for not not just me, but, you know, everybody has impacts in their life from time to time. And it's not not always a viable option, but uh, we, we of course, could always strive to do things like that. Jared, how how stressful has Couch Co-op been on your wife, do you think? Well, she she is always uh, very supportive of it. So, oh, uh, it's good. of course when I'm gone and the girls are being nasty to one another, it, it's stressful when there's nobody else to bounce that off of. <laughs> right. Uh, so of course it's been more impactful on her in a negative way sometimes than uh, when when I'm here and available to scold the children. You know, uh, pull them apart. You know, both of us can separate them and uh do different things with them and you know that kind of thing but um yeah yeah i think some some nights are better than others you know i every once in a while i go out and visit with you guys and uh you know i'm pretty much gone for a day and with with any child's emotions that can be good or that can be very very bad well i i had i had talked to john about this and uh because I was excited about the, I came up with this idea today. Like, next year is going to be a decade 
but I don't want to do the same thing. S- ask people to like send us messages and do all. Yeah. And I was like, don't tell your wife this. Cause I, I, I want it to be complete shock when you, but I want to just interview all the wives or pre wives. Yeah. I want to do like this whole, like real housewives of the couch co-op kind of thing. And then just like ask them their opinions of like, You've talked about that for years. <laughs> no, I've never done. No, I have talked first. about that this is, before. No. no, I've talked about no, having you, the wives being idea. on an episode. Oh, yeah, okay. That's yeah, what I talked, talked about. You've talked about having wives on an episode. Yes. 100%. Uh, 100%. But, okay, you're talking about I'm like, talking about making a documentary movies. like thing to celebrate our 10 years <laughs> and how fucked up it is like for them like how how they just hate it no they, they probably don't hate it but like just like get their opinions in a more simpler way because like honestly they probably okay also if we're watching twitch right now this is my favorite thing from the show the whole play us out thing i loved this segment yeah oh yeah that was fun i loved the whole like and running credits versus... over the guys playing a beat em up yeah that was fun I don't know. I thought that was a cool idea. A stupid thing. Cool idea. Anyway, I'm sorry. I drew. Anyway, yes. I want... Yes. You're right, Jared. I did talk about getting the wives all together on an episode. But that's never going to happen. So you're... So yeah, I thought that I could... So... Where you're doing it on so I thought, basis. So I thought that it'd be better... You're right, Jared. I had talked about it. Not in this way, though. In this new capsulized yeah. version where I would like... As we ramp up next year to this moment, uh, I would interview everyone's wife or pre-wife and then just, like, ask them a few questions and then, like, make it into a little, like, documentary, like, Real Housewives of the Couch Co-op show. I think it would be hilarious. Yeah, 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 because, like, my, my wife has no idea what I talk about. Anymore. Yeah, she, right? She's never watched or listened to an episode. But she probably has just, no like, idea. I you probably, here, you I probably don't really know what she thinks about it either. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If, if you can peel it out of her, <laughs> no. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's great. just kind of one of those things um, where I'm like, that'd be and, fun. I don't yeah, even like, think. Well, I don't know. Bryn Bryn's been involved. Uh, I mean, in the Bryn's show been on one stuff. episode, she's, and then she's done some openings. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, Ashley has no involvement. Uh, she she had a funny username on PSN. She was in the uh, well. She's in. That. She's in the. She's in the episode. Nah, she's in the couch co-op oh, thing, yeah. but she's not in. An, she's not in an episode, but she's in a thing where uh, she ate the balls because Jared didn't eat the balls. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, oh, here the final. Here the final episode we did is couch co-op. Like the final. Uh, well, this is this is where I pulled the the Bill Shipley thing. Anyway. Oh yeah, yeah. Many people yeah. might ask, why did you put Bill? And I was like, because he was a part of the show. Yeah. And, uh, he's pretty accurate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to deny. <laughs> but uh, no, I, I just, I don't know. <laughs> this is a funny episode. Our final episode is a Game Awards episode. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is the episode where we fucking do all this sh- shit oh my god this one was so much work this is why i never did it again <laughs> all this green screen and stupid shit yeah anyway. burnout really hit <laughs> it's pretty funny though no yeah. i just appreciate you guys for this is also the only episode we use this animation Yeah, yeah, I saw that in your uh, promo video, and I'm like, whoa, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, I, I was oh, looking man. for it. I was trying to find it. I was trying to find it, and I was like, do we ever <laughs> use it? I remember having it, but do we ever use it? And then it's in, only in this one. Yeah. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, that's funny. And then I this is where we... For this. Yeah, this I know you did. Oh, did you? yeah. Well, oh, I think God. you just had... <laughs> I think you just put a tie on, but <laughs> I was wearing a nice shirt. Yeah, Classic like John. Yeah. yeah. I have a titty. I have a titty shirt on. Yeah, of course. Oh yeah, you you were uh, that was like a clothing brand you were into for a while. I don't know if you're still into them or not. I still have them, but they don't they they they're not around anymore. 
But I mean, if yeah. we started doing the show again, fuck yeah, I'd start wearing them again. It's like just to be fucking asshole, Ian. Ian would be rocking <laughs> yeah, the double D's all the time. <laughs> yeah, he'd he'd put SpongeBob back together and everything. I like how there's like not a lot of beer on the fucking. Yeah, here's here we go. Here's Jason in Finland. Yeah, that's funny. Oh, wow, yeah, this is like his first. He hasn't even been there less than a year, right? Yeah, a year. He was there, and I asked him, "Hey, we're gonna do this game award show. Could you read the yeah. uh, whatever the Oscar is for here?" And he, yeah, he was all in that. Yeah. So everyone does this. So like, if you, uh, well, anyway, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> that episode is ridiculous. This episode is <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Shadow That's of great. Mordor and Destiny. Destiny were the big winners that year. Oh man, yeah, crazy. Best cow, best co-op. <laughs> Did Jason edit this himself? I know he he got no. He green sent screen. he sent me the footage. Okay. I asked him to. I don't know if he was in. He might have had a green sheet. I don't know if he was actually. It might have been. It might have been a solid color sheet. It might have been a green sheet though. It was definitely a solid colored sheet that I could key out. No, I edited all this. Yeah. Because everyone else is behind the same background. So in my living room, John, you don't remember this. So we're recording this, and then we would do the moments where the person would do the... You'll see, but then I take you into the kitchen, and there's a green behind you, and then I key you guys. This was so much work on my part. So sad. (laughs) So stupid. (laughs) Essentially, for a, you know, a few clicks, maybe a few views. Uh, no, maybe a comment you know what's every funny? These have gotten quite a lot of views, actually. Yeah, I don't know what this one is, actually, but a lot of them are like 100, 200. Some have like four or five, and then the Final Fantasy one has like it's, almost 2,000. Yeah, it's crazy that that Final Fantasy 14 episode did so well. Yeah, see, here's Dave. See, so I, I, I. There's, I had you in back in you're in front of a green screen in my kitchen, and I shot all the. So we shot the show all together, and then when that was done. Then we did all of this. I know you guys don't remember. Oh yeah, I I, I don't think I did one of them though. I I was there. I think I was helping <sighs> Jared, in some format. Yeah, I think I cha- I tried to change them up quite a bit. Yeah. Jared might not have had to do one. He might just because Jared's my shotgun guy. He probably was just. I was probably holding a mic or something like that. You know, I, <laughs> you I was do. the boomer. No, you read the best. You read. Oh, yeah. See, you're just doing one here. You read the best. Child of Light. Oh, yeah, because it's an indie game, so it's not a big deal. We don't, we're not going to go yeah. full stage on the indie game. Yeah, Child of the Light. That, that was a good game. I liked that one a lot. <laughs> Is this funny bullshit, though? It's just like stupid <laughs> shit. It's like, oh, yeah, I remember that stuff. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. <laughs> oh, John, I touched my my son's leg. That was disgusting. John doesn't remember this. <laughs> no, I remember. I remember going out, out to the side uh, for your kitchen and sitting on the stool and everything. Yeah. Infamous. Oh man, this is so crazy. Best graphics, John. <laughs> oh God. Oh, the PS4 had just launched. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember all the acclaim Second Son got for that. It's like, oh, this is so cutting edge, right? It's pretty gnarly. It's pretty funny. Like, oh, there's Aaron. Hey, buddy. Oh, best game mechanics. Oh, I think this is uh, Shadow of Mordor. Oh, Destiny. Oh, never mind. Destiny's just gonna win all the awards on this show. Of course. Oh, but this is the thing. I mean, this That's Destiny won. I also put this to a vote for everybody, so everyone voted on this. So like, it wasn't like my choice. Like, I don't remember how we did. It. We would have done it in Discord these days, but I don't remember. We must have just done it through like Facebook Messenger or some shit. I don't remember how we did it. Yeah, we did Facebook Messenger for a long time. It must have just been like, "Hey, everybody, what do you feel about this game? <laughs> Vote your, yeah. pick your votes," and then I like tallied them all. Man, the the world before Discord. 
How did we do it? <laughs> Dude, you guys were fucking chatty today. You just kind of yeah, quiet. We had all kinds of stuff. We were talking, like Nick and I were talking about random work stuff, and I, yeah. I, I Is that something you register on. for, and you get a discount on a Mercedes? Is that what I was reading there? I don't quite understand what that works. Oh, thing. there, there's like company perks where you get discounts through certain companies. You know that I, I don't know about a Mercedes, but uh, there might be different auto dealers and stuff like that. So one of the I haven't looked. Well, the one of the per- paragraphs above whatever you posted, it said mercedes and i was just like huh. uh okay uh let's see best uh, voice yeah. acting battle toads oh the stick of truth yeah this is definitely ps3 ps4 this is like just that line when everything because we loved stick of truth that year yeah and it's funny how, how many of us played the second one <laughs> hey guys if you look at the paintings up at the like on the wall above the television You'll notice one has looks like what are balls. Those are literally my balls. Uh, that's for you guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm aware of that. Oh, Jared popped in. Oh, I'm sorry. Just kidding. It's a uh, meme. I swear. My wife has cosplayed at Little Terror as the uh, chick from Child of Light. I remember carrying the big sword. Oh, that's awesome, Little Terror. Yeah, that's super rad. Yeah. Little Terror, you should check out some photos. Maybe you saw one in the uh, promo. <laughs> but I, uh, I I, cosplayed as 2B from Near Automata. Uh, it was pretty sexy. Yeah. yeah. A lot of comments and compliments. Uh, compliments. Yeah. I got a lot of dirty looks, too. Yeah, a lot of dudes freaking out like, what? Oh, look, it's Bill the Bard. Old Bill the Bard. Oh, oh, Ian, Ian, about you being 2B. Yeah. Uh, you you coined uh, the year before the term crossplay instead of cosplay, and then all the console places started calling it crossplay <laughs> to play uh, with each other on different consoles. <laughs> That's right. Remember I'm, that? uh, I'm just the, uh, I'm just a uh, pioneer. A pioneer. Mr. Pioneer Ian. <laughs> just, uh, <laughs> crossplaying as a lady. <laughs> I, there's nothing great. I, I, I've always wanted to cosplay. And then when I was finally pressured into, was that a vote? I think in the podcast, that's the early days of Scott, and I think people voted on, like, Ian, hey, we put the vote count really low, and it's like, Ian, should Ian cosplay as 2B? And then it was like, 2B or not 2B? Yeah. That was kind of the joke yeah. going on, and then everyone voted for it, and I just, okay, I'll do it. But I enjoyed that, and I don't think I could ever cosplay as something else ever again that well. I don't. I just, not only that, but I really got off on it, like literally. <laughs> we we don't need the uh, the dirty secrets on the sidelines. Dude, there's nothing more I like than like just walking around <laughs> naked with in those like thigh high heels and just like just like. Anyway, with that wig on, oh, it's hot, dude. <laughs> hey, Shadow of Mordor. That was a great yeah, game. Yeah. He, Holy he shit, that game was good. He was carrying a mirror around so he could watch himself walk, I'm sure. Shadow of Mordor was a great <laughs> game. Oh, my God. It was. Never, I never played the sequel. It's I just played like it. The truth. It's, like, I I've, didn't play the sequel. I've played it. It's not as good. It's cheap as fuck. Yeah. You can pick it up for like two bucks. Well, but, it's, uh, it's a shame that that system that they brought, the what Nemesis system, uh, it could have gone far. But it might they still have the audacity to copyright it, so nobody could use it. Oh, that's true. And it just. But stopped. they're they're the ones working on the Wonder Woman game. Yeah. For Warner Brothers, so there's a potential yeah, we'll, we'll see. for a sexy Wonder Woman and B Nemesis. So I'm I'm holding out hope that they don't fuck it up with. I feel the problem with Mordor is just like it's too much. I don't know. Mordor is weird. I just couldn't get into it. The first one or second game? Oh, the the, I'm sorry, Shadow of War. It's just, it's, yeah, it's just, I don't. <sighs> All right, but uh, I think my uh, deadline has come. Uh-oh. I'm starting to hear shouts from inside the house. Shout, 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 shout let it, it all out. out. Anyway, yeah, but yeah, I wanted to come in and say hi. Hey, and, happy uh, birthday, Jared! Let's... Happy nine years! Happy 300 episodes! Yeah, it's it's been a ride. Let's uh let's stay aboard. Jerry, thanks for you know being a part yeah, of it yeah. for all these years, bro. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, of course. I love you. You take and, care. Uh, 
I'll chat with you guys some other time. All right, man. Bye, Have Jared. a good night. Good night. Oh, this is definitely going to be an episode. I'm gonna have to. I have. I'm gonna have to pull it off the Twitch and just be like, oh, "You're this gonna is... have to edit it." Am I? What do I have to edit um, out? What do I? What do I have to edit out, John? You have to hit the submit button. That's the. That's the editing portion. The submit button. Submit. <laughs> oh, 2015. Okay, there you go. The the show you you had at uh, Milkman at uh, twenty fifteen. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. The, like the show started in twenty fourteen. We had done it for a year. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So we were gotcha. doing the podcast at that point. You guys probably started joining the podcast towards the end. So, yeah. I downloaded OBS while you and Jared were talking. Oh yeah, she messed around was... with it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I don't know what phone you have. You just have a. I have a Pixel Seven. You should see if OBS Cam runs on it. I don't know if it does, but if it does, oh. Then you can download a little uh, plugin app for OBS, and then you can also use that your phone as a camera, so you would have two cameras. I don't know if OBS. There might be a version of OBS cam. You might be able to find another camera that runs. Anyway. Yeah, so you can create, you can ma- basically use your phone as the second camera. Yeah, this Droid Cam OBS. Yeah, maybe that. It looks like. Uh, you know, you can probably get it for free. If you need to spend $1.99, that's up to you. But, uh, you know, you, you know, you don't have to look into that now. But you could probably do, you know. I mean, your laptop might be strong enough to record the other guys too. I don't know. I just picked, hmm. I just know that Dave has a similar k- PC to mine that I know he could do it. And I know Jared should probably be able to do it, but I don't know if he wants to Wait. sync. So Dave could use his, he has a, like he has a gaming rig as well. His can uh, I don't know what his processor is. I know his video card is the same as mine. Yeah, Dave could play games and stuff. He just chooses not to. That's Dave's stuff. I don't know what the rest of his system is. I just know that his video card is similar to mine. Hey, who? who th- I saw the, your guys' Gambler 500 car, yeah. but I don't know. I forgot where I saw it. Did you post it in part of the intro to 300 or? No. I don't know where I saw the gam- uh it was through Dave, I think, because I saw that because Dave keeps it at his place. No, it's at my house. Oh, it's at your place. Oh, maybe it was when you did the episode with Nick or something. Oh, yeah. Well, you wouldn't have seen the car in that episode, though, because we were shooting the opposite know. direction. I mean, it's in that garage. Well, I, it's in that garage. I was taken aback. Like you guys actually put Gambler 500 on it. Like you guys like kind of oh. tricked it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I did. So like the first year it was at Dave's house. And it was just white, and we fixed it up. And then Dave was like, okay, you're going to take this over, Ian? I was like, yeah, I'll take it over. And so I took it over, and then I added all these other mods to it. So I painted it. I put a a muffler uh, thing on it. I did all these other stupid things to it. I mean, they're kind of cool things. But, yeah, I, yeah. so I, Brendan and I painted the Rising Sun Gambler 500 thing on the on the hood and... I did all kinds of stupid shit to it. So it's like all like decked out. And then now it's up on, it's up on uh, Jack's right now. Cause we, Dave and I need to work on the bearings, but uh, probably in a couple weeks, but yeah, I'm in control of it. I mean, ultimately I think it's my car at this point. Uh, it'll, it probably won't go back to Dave's. It'll probably just be mine forever. Yeah. I fell in love with the car more than Dave ultimately, I think. <laughs> I mean, Dave fell in love with it hard. And then I came around to it and then I really fell in love like with it. It was like $200. It was 250, John. We each paid 125. You know what's funny? I didn't we, even think We Eiffel Dave towered was... that shit, you know. <laughs> I didn't even think of Dave being frugal until, until Don't Tony was just oh like, my I God. love how cheap 
cheap Dave have you never thought about that dave is incredibly cheap i just never picked up on it like because dave i see dave fixes all his all his own shit he never he never and which is cool that's cool that's dave thing but like dave never buys dlc (laughs) dave's not cheap if Dave wants to buy DLC. If Dave wants something, he'll buy it. No, Dave yeah. has never oh, bought yeah. DLC. Are you serious? What there's no DLC I think Dave has ever bought. Really? I, I yeah, hundred percent. I don't think there's any shit he's he doesn't care about that. I just think it's that Tony episode was awesome too, because Tony is separated Did you watch listen to it all? Yeah. Oh uh, I listened to maybe two thirds of the. I listened to over half of it. Uh, but I love how Tony's like separated enough from us that he can talk shit and not feel guilty. <laughs> like oh. because I feel like. Uh, what? What do you? I mean, wait, 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 wait. What do you think he could say that we couldn't say? Uh, I mean, like, I think it was just like how he went after, not after. I shouldn't say it like that. How he called Dave cheap. And then how he said, like, I love social justice, drunk social justice warrior Ian. I think you guys uh, all do. And then, like, uh, and, and then him saying, like, oh, if Aaron did that to my to my PSN oh. name, I'd beat his ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. damn, like, fuck. i get him one chance. The next time I'd be over his house and I'd fucking go. <laughs> yeah. Hey, at least Aaron took care of that shit. Finally, oh, man. finally. Yeah, so I just I there was a more uh, maybe it's an East Coast thing. I mean, uh, probably. I mean, he's. I mean, he comes, I, a pro- I he comes like across a, like a East Coast guy. Yeah, there's just like a degree of separation, and I know he doesn't care to a certain degree, but I feel like there's a a degree of separation where he could be more loose, and he's not a uh, he he's not gonna because we try to take care of each other on the show but i think for tony especially he's a first time guest he kind of can take advantage of the situation and not be uh not be frowned upon you know what i mean yeah but i think if you but then if you think about what he's talking about and like when i'm drunk and dave is kind of drunk and we're just going at each other's throats that's kind of more no but what i'm saying is like that's kind of the more aggressive of that, where he's being jovial in it, and whereas Dave and I are just like fucking being dicks to each other. Uh, mm-hmm. It's funny. But the thing about that is it's embarrassing because it's like then the next day it's like, oh, man, I knew I was being, I just being a dick. And like I don't want to even listen to that. But like, so I don't listen to that episode, and I hope no one listens. To, and like... But then I'll go back and listen to the Tony episode, which is funny. But then he says stuff that references that episode. I'm just like, <laughs> it's funny. It's like, I don't know. Listen, we don't have it figured out. It's nice to have Tony pop in and just like keep us real, you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, he was like vaping the whole time. That was oh, awesome that's the other too. thing. That was like oh my element. god, that's that's one of the reasons dude, I popped. Like, that's one of the reasons I popped the white claw. It's like, dude, this fucking dude, bro. It's like, and that's why I asked him if you played Call of Duty. <laughs> I mean, and then he I don't, I don't think about you guys quartz countertops yeah. and how they're gonna burn. Oh yeah, Jesus. Yeah. Anyway, uh, that's uh, that's that's just like you know, I was just trying to like you know, dude, bro. I was just trying to like. This is pretty funny. But yeah, poor Nick. Yeah, don't do not do that. They lied to you. <laughs> okay, seller. Okay, guy selling me stuff. Oh, this is where oh, Jason... And, and this like, is where... Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, like him talking about going on a trip with Niagara with nine other guys and the wives, and I'm just like... I'm like, who is this guy? Like... Yeah. Tony is so much different compared to the rest of us. Like, I just find it so inter- like wild that you met up with nine other people. First off, how the hell did you- nine people get together for something like that? Like, that's just wild to me. Like, I feel like just the six of us struggle 
to be uh, week to week to be on the podcast. You know what I mean? Oh, hundred percent. But like, I could see myself being like, "Hey, Bryn, I think I could convince Bryn to go to Niagara Falls and like meet up with Tony Death and his wife. I think I could." Like, I mean, the first, I mean, oh, Brynn and I, like, when we first met, it's like, oh, hey, you're my boyfriend now. It's like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm going to Australia in a couple weeks, and uh, I think you're coming. It's like, what? Yeah. So, like, I can, I can kind of get along. I can kind of get into that. Uh, you know, I've met some people just randomly. So, I, I could see, I could see doing that. So, like, that wasn't a shock to me. But mm-hmm. like getting this crew to do any of that shit, mm, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's no way. There's no way. Like, I would. You know what's shitty? I would love to do a group trip with all of you guys. It's just never happened. Like, the only person I've ever been able to get. Like, so we used to do this thing where we would go out to Shasta and rent a houseboat and like houseboat around Shasta Lake and stuff. Uh, Matt. Matt's the only one. I had two times hang out with us. I was like, let's just go and like have a good time and have fun. And But to get other friends to do that, it's just like pulling teeth. It's just like, all right, never mind. But it'd be so much fun to do a trip like that. Yeah. But then, you know, everyone has kids now, so fuck it. Oh. <sighs> But the kids are getting almost old enough. Like, in a few more years, they'll be old enough to watch after themselves. What are you talking about? Aaron just had a kid, so that's not ever going to look at ever itself. Oh, and, yeah, that's true. And Jared's kids are not old enough. Dave's kid, yeah. Aren't they they're Dave's almost kid. as old as uh, Robin. Robin's 12, right? No. So I think Robin's Jared's older like... than that. And then... Oh, really? I got to take a piss, John. Yeah, go ahead. Could you uh, in in uh, entertain the uh, stream while I'm gone? Yeah, hold on. Let me see if there's any more questions. <laughs> just read okay, chat. Well, little, little terror has just left the chat. <laughs> <laughs> but I could talk a little bit about uh, you know, it, it, I could talk a little about being on the podcast. Um. So I, I just remember being, this is like 2014 when they first started the podcast. And uh, it was just, and podcasting at that point in time, maybe it was like five years old or something like that. I mean, you know, you had like Joe Rogan and Mark Marin, and then uh, they were kind of like the first big hits coming out. So it was a very uh, new and novel experience. Um, and so it was pretty exciting when, Jared and Ian announced that they were going to do their own podcast. And so it was really nice uh, and exciting to be invited to come on a podcast. You know, and all this is just, they're just recording, recording, and then just uploading it uh, essentially to a server, I guess. And then it just gets uploaded, and then you just download it if you want to listen to it. Um, But that's what made the podcast for me so exciting was just it was just a a new thing that you know i'd listened to before but hadn't actually participated in and so to actually be participating in it and doing it was just really exciting and then not to mention we were doing you know one of the another good memory i had was we did like a watch party i forgot what movie it was it was some kind of b movie um And I think we did that a few times. We did like maybe twice. We did, we just streamed. Well, I guess we weren't streaming, but we recorded an episode of us just doing commentary on a movie. And I think, I wonder if we could still listen to those episodes. I'm going to make a note to ask Ian when he comes back. But yeah, those were, and those were really fun because there was like five or six of us on the couch uh, commentating on some horrible movie uh, and just like, you know, just taking pot shots at the movie and at each other and and all that stuff. (laughs) 
So yeah, the movie commentary was really fun. It was also fun too, just going to different people's houses and with their setups. Um, you know, Dave was always pretty cool because Dave had different stuff going on at his place. You know, sometimes he would had just got back from hunting, so he would have elk meat, and then or he had just brewed something or. At one point in time, he was doing whiskey, so he was distilling. Um, so it was always kind of fun just to go over and see what he was kind of cooking. And then uh, I remember Aaron and Ashley's place was really nice and cozy. Um, they lived like a little, they lived in the southwest side of Portland. Um, I was just uh, I was just talking about where we, where we used to travel to each Someone would host the podcast each week. So I was just talking about Dave's place and then uh, Aaron's place. Oh, the old game nights, how we used to rotate. Yeah. And then uh, do you remember the movie commentaries we did? Those I was talking about those were some of my favorite episodes. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, we used to. So (laughs) we used to have this production kit. I don't know if you talked about this, John. So we have this kit and then. Every, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we would like, so like back in the old days of the podcast, we'd have this kit with the microphones and the soundboard and the recording yeah. device, and then everyone would host game night. So every week, game night would be at someone else's house, and we play, we set up, eat dinner, record an hour to hour and a half of podcasts, and then after, we play video games until everyone left, and that was just kind of how it was for the early Months. days, <laughs> years. <laughs> You know, <laughs> and then things change. But yeah, I think Dave still has a majority of that kit. But we oh, don't really. We don't. Yeah, he still has the case oh, wow. and the board. He, yeah, but we don't really do that anymore. So we could. I don't know. I don't know. I was also talking about the novelty of being on a podcast because podcasting was starting to become bigger. I mean, you had Mark Marin and Joe Rogan were like the two biggest um, uh, podcasts or two of the biggest park podcasts at the time. I mean, not I in my Mark- world. In my world, it was couch. It was a comic geek speak. I mean, those guys have more podcasts than Mark Marin and Joe Rogan combined. But are you serious? I think Good they're at almost eighteen hundred. Oh wow! Yeah, I mean, these guys were way back. I was listening to these guys in like. 2003 2004 no way yeah what were they like, so there was an episode there was an issue of wired magazine back then and it said podcasting the future and so one of the guys in that group was like a ner- super tech nerd and he read it and he's like oh well we'll do it and this is the so this is the longest running podcast i've listened to and these guys comic geek speak became one of the biggest comic book com- podcast and anyway it was also one of the reasons i got back into comic books at that time it might have been 2005 it might be 2004 2005 anyway um yeah these guys uh and they went through it all so like i've listened to the, i mean they had a group and they did all the things they got super huge super big and then you know one of their one of their listen you know one of their People died of cancer and went through oh, that. Wow. I mean, it's uh, everything. And then it just, and then two of the main guys left. And then it was just kind of this other team that was just kind of doing it for a while. I mean, it's, 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 it's not quite mirroring what we've done, but like, it's just kind of like, I get it. At a certain point, you've just been doing it for so long. And then there's a while where it's sustaining itself. And then it's just, it never really broke. Like, Joe Rogan's a famous person. So, like, and Mark Maron's a famous person. I mean, they're not famous, famous, but they're comedians. And they've done stuff. So, like, those guys. Is, but as far as people that are nobodies that succeeded at podcasting was ca- Comic Geek Speak. And then they succeeded for so long and then it just kind of tailed off. And then comic books kind of died again. So like, and then comic book movies took off, and like, but comic books kind of died a little bit inside, and so it's interesting. 
So I've been listening to podcasts for a long fucking time. And so like Comic Geek Speak was one of the real reasons I really wanted to get into comic into podcasting. But I didn't really do it until after there was a video game podcast called Weekend Confirmed. And I think it's around the time they were just about to end that I said, fuck it. Let's do a video game podcast. And then that's that's how that's kind of how I decided to do it, but I had list I've been listen, listening to a comic geek speak forever, and those guys, those guys were really the guys like made me think that we could just be a bunch of nobodies that could just do this because <laughs> they were they're nobodies and they're hilarious and they're they're hilarious in their like inept ability for certain like we are you know they're just dudes anyway. Yeah, I I think uh, I I really like doing the even when we were doing the game awards recently, that was really fun just to sit back and watch and just commentate and shoot the shit over the dumb stuff we were seeing. It's been a thing, man. It's been a, it's been a trip for sure, man. I just I don't even I couldn't I would say no. I did not think this would last this long, and now I feel like this. Well, what else am I going to do? I might as well keep doing it. It's not like I'm... Unless my film becomes picked up and like I have to become a big-time filmmaker and then I have to say goodbye, yeah, then you know, then we can talk about, hey, you guys going to carry... You guys going to carry on without me or you guys want to wrap it up? You know what I mean? But, like, honestly, I feel like I, I can keep doing this until I die, which could be tomorrow, but... <sighs> Yeah, I'm glad Jared popped on. That was nice. Yeah. It's a real episode now. I mean, I mean, it was a real episode when John was here. I mean, John and I have carried up. I mean, we, hey, for better or for worse, we did that Game Awards episode with just us. So, same situation. You just popped the bat signal on. Hey, you guys gonna pop in? Say hi? No? Get fucked. Oh, we're not wa- here. I gotta go back to this. You're not watching me like give my monologues with my sexy girl shirts on. <laughs> sexy girl shirts and shitty beer. That's pretty much. That's it pretty. Is? That's pretty much. Uh, that pretty much sums up couch co-op. It is crazy to think this is like ten years ago. That's kind of almost ten years ago. Yeah. Right. I kicked a wall. I kicked a hole in my bathroom wall, and John fixed it for me. <laughs> is everyone you know? You know who looks? No offense, Dave, but he looks super young. Yeah, right. <laughs> everyone looks relatively the same, but but Dave, Dave like Dave has he gotten just got old. Out of college. Yeah, right. <laughs> like he's still in Oasis in this photo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And it's all it's also just hilarious how like how people just keep the same look for years. Like you with long hair and then Dave with his beard. I mean he had I went that shortish hair for, for I went like not like long hair, but I went like shortish hair for you a while. You had like Joe. a bob or something like that. It like a bob a, kinda. It wasn't a bob. <laughs> it was a Keanu Reeves look. A bob is totally different. <laughs> look at this. This is great though. I always love the Credits with the game playing. I don't know. Oh, oh, there's John in the background. Was I running the camera? No, you're just sitting there like tired. You look like you just got off work. I mean, this is close. I mean, I don't know how close this was. Oh, Jared Ford guessed too. So this is getting close to when we, you were about to leave. Probably. Damn. What a time. What a time in our lives. I don't know. Yeah, we should we should definitely bring those episodes back. I okay, it's kind of it's just fun to see there's just a lot of good energy. Like even I'm you know, I can't 
hear the episode, but uh, just oh, yeah. watching, we're all having so much fun. So I, then I, I did try to revive Couch Co-op in like a season four or something, just by myself, when it, when we moved to my new house. So I mm-hmm. tried to do this other thing, and it never, I don't, we, I never did an episode after this. But David built me this table, so I was using it. Is that the uh, beer uh, can or beer top table? It's kind of oh, it's just, what? Vi- it's just this is the new up. Op- this is was this is the first time I made the new opening, and then it was just kind of I was trying to like revitalize the show as an idea. We were still doing the podcast. I was like, I still wanted to do the show. Oh wow! I don't think I've seen this. And uh, so this is the only episode that exists of this. I never did another one. It's just too much. I did this all by myself. It was just too much work. I was just like, eh, I don't want to do this. I always thought that Titanfall Two cinematic you put in the opening credits was a sweet. Yeah, so this is basically me, yeah, right? So this is basically me reviewing PSVR okay. and Titanfall. Two things I loved from that year. Oh, so you just took a regular TV. Regular no, Dave TV just... built this tabletop for me that I wanted to do this. Oh, wow. So it's actually in my backyard right now. When you come back home, you'll see it. We actually it, we use it for video games when we're hanging out and drinking Oh, so barbecuing. it's completely waterproof or weatherproof? Well, no, it's under a cover. Oh, okay. I need to get. I still need to get a piece of like, uh, what is that clear plastic? Like, a, anyway, to make an actual cover so you can set drinks on it. But we still use it for playing games and shit. Anyway, this was just like another version, like a, a just like, hey, can we? I could probably do this. It'd be cool if I didn't have to, if I could do all the work and like maybe Jared or someone else could like take, you know, take over and I could just run all the behind the scenes shit. But I was just like, eh. I didn't even, I didn't even think about that. You had like Milkman merch. I mean, I don't know how many t-shirts you made, but I I just noticed that, that you actually had Milkman shirts. Uh, Bryn had some, a shirt made and then I have a bunch of, I had a bunch of like, bumper stickers and shit oh wow this is pretty cool that's the vr that was uh drive club vr and i'm talking about vr this is in the you can find it i don't know if you really want to hear me talk but i i thought it it was a it was a shorter more dynamic quicker episode which I thought worked. So are you just talking completely off the top of your head, or do you have a yeah, monitor? Yeah, here I can I can turn it up if you. Uh, if you. Uh, but I just I didn't. Interest. I'm just talking. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not reading anything. I'm just like talking you know, off the top the of my head. The one over. It's something I'm totally. It's on my radar. I'm totally into. So yeah, uh, 2016. How did you? Uh, are, so are you using think, you know, the hype any filler words, cool. or how did you? I'm just making shit off the top of my head. But are you going, uh, like, um... Oh, I'm using a lot of ums. Okay. So I talked about PSVR, and now I'm talking about Titanfall. Because Titanfall 2 was, like, my favorite game of this year. So then I talk about that game. I mean, that game still holds up. Oh, fuck yeah, it does. I mean, that's still... To me, that's the best, like, first-person shooter... In a long time. ...campaign. Well, it's, it's one of the, in my opinion, well, also in multiplayer, because I played that multiplayer. I, I regened in that game like four or five times. So, like, I played that multiplayer a shit ton. Now, I had heard great things about the story campaign, which were, were true. You know, everyone was talking about how this really cool story But I kept playing that for a long time awesome. afterwards. So Just I multiplayer. I so. the game since I didn't uh, check it out for Xbox when it, the first one launched way back. But the thing about Titanfall 2... And how long ago was this one? The, uh, did you put this yeah, one out? Story campaign At this point, this is like... Just how... Three... 
This is probably closing on like six, seven years. <laughs> wow. Yeah, right? This is all footage of me playing, too, by the way. This is just pulled from my PlayStation. Yeah, this is the most I've ever played a multiplayer game. I created loadouts. I did. I did the whole multiplayer thing for this. I like. I was into this game, hardcore. I think it's one of the greatest fucking video games. Everyone says the campaign is great. The campaign is fucking awesome. The multiplayer is also fucking awesome. <laughs> Like you can ej- you can kill someone and they'll eject out of their Titan. You can also eject out of your Titan and then kill them in mid air as they have ejected. There is some That's shit you can do in this game that is just like you shouldn't be allowed to do that you can. Anyway, this is a long time ago, and this game is never gonna get a sequel. It got Apex Legends, and that's what's going to... Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps us. Yeah. This show is only like six minutes long. This is like a... I was trying to like create something new, which I think would probably work, but I just didn't feel like following it. It was like a pilot idea. Yeah, that table... So how did... Do you know how he made that table? Uh, yeah, no, we made we made it together, John. Come on. Oh well, you kept saying Dave made this. He did make it. He designed it. So he just bought a. Fu- you can come see it. He bought a fucking rolling file cabinet, and then he built a mount on it. And then I gave him my Best Buy TV, and then he mounted my Best Buy t- TV to okay. it. Okay. Gotcha. Uh. And then it's on rollers. So then when we have barbecues, we just kind of pull it out, and we kind of just play some retro games on it while we're cooking food and <laughs> getting drunk. So, and it's under my thing. So we could do it in the dark and the rain. It's cool. It's cool. It's all about video games here at house Casa de Southworth. <laughs> I got to go stream some split Splaton. What is Splatoon? Oh, Splatoon. No one likes come on little terror. No one likes Splatoon. No one no one likes that. No one likes squids. Anyway, John. What do you, what is your uh time frame? Oh, I'm probably gonna call it here pretty soon. Alright, well feel free to call I got, it. I got a few more minutes. Alright, well let me know. But I just like I don't I don't need to let me see if I can pull something up that's more interesting. let me see if I can find something that's interesting to the uh realm of the uh you know what I'm surprised you haven't tasked Dave with? And I'm surprised Dave oh. hasn't done it for himself. Making a long-ass table like the one oh. at my old place. I'm surprised. Like, you guys speak in <laughs> awe of that table, and yet... It is in <laughs> awe, what? but, like, we're never going to... Like, where are we going to put that? That's true. It would only be used, like, once every six weeks. <laughs> we could do John Mellon's eyes. Oh, yeah, play John. My my uh, fiance <laughs> saw that. She thought it was funny. <laughs> So we've done a lot of things. Then there was this one thing where, like, hey, could John possibly crush a melon between his thighs? And John was like, yeah, I could totally do it. I could totally, I could totally crush a melon between my thighs. I was like, okay. Well, let's let's set that up. Let's set that up next time you're in town. Let's see if you can crush a melon. Between your thighs. Did you actually really uh, work hard for this? Uh, I mean, I I trained for it as as I thought to be trained. What I should have done, because it was, because it was after the fact. uh, You know, you just learn from experience. So. Melon needs a melon? I yeah. just used the how long, how, how leg long actually uh, adductor like machine out to do yeah. uh, since I'm squeezing. So I just used that a lot and built up a certain amount of weight. But Because uh, I think afterwards, like uh, Jason was talking about, like, oh, you just didn't, the right watermelon wasn't picked. Um, oh, you need a ripe one. I, yeah. 
And they're like, a, I think even like the shape probably would have played a difference as well. Oh, are you saying a John Mellon Thighs 2 is in order? I mean, maybe someday. I'm not getting any younger, Ian. <laughs> I don't think age has anything to do with it. I think Arnold Schwarzenegger could crush a melon between his thighs right now. Sure. I, 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 I could get on the same drugs he's on, too. Arnold's not on drugs. Liver King is on drugs. Arnold's not on drugs. That's hilarious. You brought up Liver King. <laughs> well, he's a he's a he's a faux king. I feel like she does the whole uh John's trying. Yeah, this is hilarious. I look like a baby. I'm like wearing a diaper. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say those are diapers, but if you if, if they're diapers, then they are. Mom, there's a guy humping a melon out here. <laughs> Mom, there's a guy humping a melon out here. I know that's hilarious. It's so funny. Like I'm, at, I'm just out in public, practically naked, and like, no, I don't remember anyone being. You probably outside. should have got like an oval melon. You're right. I mean, uh, yeah. Jason's probably right. It's well, like if you want to. I think David was the one who picked the melon. So David I thought you picked the melon. Him. No, I don't. I don't. I think Dave picked up the melon. Did he? I don't think Dave picked the melon. I thought you brought the melon. I thought he did. I thought the whole thing was like you'll pick the melon. She locks the ankles and like tries to just like crush. Damn, my farmer's tan was strong. Holy shit! <laughs> oh, Dave thinks he can do it. Wait, what? I like how Dave thinks he can do it. Dave wants a ride. Uh. <laughs> No, this is a British dude humping <laughs> This is so stupid. <laughs> good, good on Dave. Dude. Well, boys, I think we all get to have what if Dave did it? That would have been awesome. Even Dave looks younger there. God, Dave has gotten old. So if John, if John does it here, it's because uh, <laughs> Dave, Dave loosened it up. Loosened Melanie. <laughs> Someday you'll be you'll be held hot. You'll be like FBI will pull you in and be like, "Could you explain what's going on here?" I know. <laughs> Homeland Security. <laughs> well, sir, I was humping a hum- uh, I was humping a melon. <laughs> Oh, he needs it. Oh, there goes Melanie. Sweet Melanie. That's a good, good, clean cut. She's very mature. She's very mature. There you go. I mean, that was that's something, right? That's uh, that's a thing. That's the thing that John did one time. A while back. Man, There's the time we awesome. ate. Were you with? I don't think you were with us for this. Couch co-op. The uh, you didn't eat the you didn't eat the the testicles, did you? You weren't there for that, were you? No, no. Play that. I haven't seen that. Jared would not eat the testicles that day. Wait, so what's the backstory on this? Dave bought some testicles and like we're gonna From eat them. Where? Like uh, like I don't know. He bought them off the internet. Oh my god! And then Jared didn't want to do it. Oh, so Dave won't buy DLC, but he'll buy Come testicles. On. Okay. Dave. Uh, Dave has got us a package of testicles. Jerky testicles, aka beefy bowls, Rocky Mountain oysters. Yep. I'm gonna be swashing it down with the Monte. Oh, is this snack. Uh, Aaron's old place? And, yeah. Uh, what we're gonna do? We're gonna cut ah. this into like how many is there? There's. Well, Jared has decided to be off camera when he eats. Balls. Oyster jerky. We can just tear a piece off the balls. We can slice them and I'll eat a, a substantial chunk. I think someone chunk. already sliced them. They're kind of. Uh... Up, you know. I don't know, Jared was in a pissy mood like that doing, day. Like, he expect? didn't want to be on camera. He didn't want to eat the uh, balls. I'm, 
expecting actually to be underwhelmed. underwhelmed. I'm thinking more like just beef jerky. Just Who's the guy in the tank top in the back? Oh, that's uh, Aaron, uh, Ashley's brother or cousin? What it is, but I feel like it's going to taste different. He's hardcore in the drugs. I think it's going to be a little extra salty. But he's super cool. Super cool dude. Do you think they drain the balls first? How would you say that? I don't know. What did I say? I didn't say anything. John. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, I kind of see what you mean. It's <laughs> <laughs> not beef balls, so if they're going to be gamey, All right. be like, we'll be right back with it prepared. Dave's going to prepare it, and, we'll, and then we'll eat it. Okay, we're, we're still, we're uh, pre, got to get smell it already. So wait, yeah, Ashley we're, tried we're it pre too? We're pre-cutting them, yeah. and Dave is opening it, and the smell. Oh, shit. It does, it smells fucking weird. So it was legit I don't know. jerky. I mean, it's yeah. They're it's built. They're ball testicles that've been sliced and then made into jerky. It smells like balls. Uh, that kind of made me like want to puke just a little bit. It smells like a little bit <laughs> of sweaty was, balls. Oh. God, I they just flavor it or just right. like regular jerky flavor? It's weird flavor. It's it, it tastes does. different. <laughs> that was different. Whoa, that is way different. That's different. That's like scrotal sag. That's like how a, much did Dave pay for that? Right I have oh, no idea. Oh god, that looks charged, that looks, looks awful. Like mm. looks like for some reason, Jared was just like, "I'm not being a part of this today." This one. It was weird. It was a weird day, and Jared. Jared must have been nice going through something pack. that day. Delicious testicles, huh? No, I'll do the thick one. I'll do a piece of the thick one. Did you drive down that day or did he? Well, no, 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 no. I think we should slice one and I'll share like... This is pre-DUI, so yeah. it could have been me. <laughs> equal little pieces. I was really... I Man, these, <laughs> these testicles look Maybe your father disgusting on, on this true. plate. Yeah. Like, I know this is jerky. Yeah, yeah, like some of them definitely look like a, like, like a testicle sack. It could have been partial. Like, there's no denying it. This isn't a fear factor thing. So we decided to cut them into little pieces. We're not going to eat a whole. We're going. We're all going to eat. We decided that we're all going to eat the gnarly looking piece. And so we're all. Yeah. So Ashley's cutting them into pieces. We're all going to eat. Oh, okay. I see what she's. I was thinking like, why she? She's cutting them into more pieces than necessary, but. There was a lot of us. Pieces. Don't smell it. Don't smell it. Ready? It Go. smells gross. It's really chewy. Mm. But it does just taste like jerky. Mm-hmm. That pepper helps. Yeah, yeah no kidding. Yeah. It's got a little bit of salt to it. No, it doesn't though. It's not a good texture. It's not more flesh. Ashley's just horrified. No. It's actually not good jerky. No, Ashley eats more of it. No. It's no. not good. It tastes weird. It starts tasting no, really weird. Like so it has a flavor. The outside flavor, and then it starts tasting weird. Oh, uh, once the coating goes away. <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. It's really gamey. It's. Yeah, you guys. But Aaron just eats another it. piece and like ain't no thing. He's like, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, that's like some. You know, wash it down with some Montucky. Jerry just sitting hats? over, and then Jerry just sitting over there does, depressed. Yeah, it's chewy. As does hot. Aaron have at this point? He has, he, all has all the he has all the hats. We did it. John. Uh, this is a small step. Like I know you have hats, but you kind of keep it to the same I style and you have like what, 3 or 3 to 5? Um, uh, one, two, but, uh, the funny thing about this is I might have more. I have more than I probably I probably have like around I could say I probably have around 10 hats. Not that exciting. Damn. I think I think Aaron has like like 20 hats. So most of us, Aaron, Jesus. aren't eating the jerky, but you're kind of enjoying it. You know, Aaron like, likes after it. That first couple Aaron likes bites. I'm like, Ugh, God, what the hell? But now it's like actually kind of grown on me. It's like drinking coffee the first time. First time it's god awful. After that's pretty tasty. So how many bowls did you eat? Ah, they had a pretty had cool place. I forgot about it. Oh, their place was awesome. Really that place is awesome. I haven't. S oh no, we've seen their new place. Their new place is actually pretty awesome. <laughs> Go see what you're eating. I was gonna say I haven't seen it, but I oh, have no, seen no, it. I've seen, I've, seen I've seen both testicles. Oh, Look at Jerry just. They were talking about that, uh, I don't know what yeah, Jerry was up to. He just wanted to be a part of it. Then it's like, okay. He must. He must have been traumatized as a young child by testicles. Yeah, it was pretty poor, Jerky. It was 
very uh, chewy, actually. Chewy and gamey. Well, you're re yeah. you're you're respecting him by getting his reflection in the mirror, not pointing the well, camera. Well, I wasn't right I wasn't him. trying to get him. He didn't want to be on. Yeah. He literally he's like, I don't want to be on. I was like, okay, oh Jesus, like, and Jared's not usually like that. Yeah. Oh, look at this old ass episode. I like how there's just a shit ton of beers on the table. Anyway. Yeah, see, what, when did this? Because you had a beer, the beer right there. So when was this one uploaded? All right, you're my, you might, you must be right. When was this one? What is this one? I wish five years ago. Five years ago, John. 2018. Yeah, well, that's about right. That's just before the pandemic. That tracks. Uh, two years before the pandemic. I mean, I know it's. I thought COVID the pandemic 19, was 19. Like Isn't that 19? The tail end 2019. All right. Hey, we don't need to watch that. This is another episode of stupidity. I, w I wanted. But, you know, if you watch, if you go back to it really quickly, Dave is so young. Like, he looks young. I know. He I always know. looks I don't young. Know what... Like, I don't, I don't look any different. Aaron doesn't look any different. But Dave exists in this, like, childlike state until now. He just looks like an old fucking man. <laughs> it's funny. It's weird. It's very weird. I think just, uh, no offense to him, but the beer caught up to him probably I think that's what happened or he maybe he cut his hair and everything and maybe he'd get back to his childlike state I don't know anyway well John this has been a fun trip down memory lane yeah this, this is actually really cool uh, I'm glad I'm glad episodes. you joined I'm glad Jared popped on for a hot minute so at least it's not just like a it's a little bit of a a, a crew thing and but, uh, that GTA reenactment we did is kind of insane to watch because I know it was not on a busy road, but the fact that Jared pulls out a fake gun and then <laughs> acts like he's carjacking someone in public and no cops Dude, are called. It wasn't even a road. That's like a fucking site. That's not even a road. That's like a driveway. You know, come on. Plus, Thank God for white privilege. Yeah, right, baby? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, it was so fast. Come on. Was that so was fast. so. That was fun though. Like it, shooting that skit, and yeah. then I'm wearing those god awful red pants with the pat. I don't know yeah, what you I was deserve to, to get shot. Time. No, I get yeah. it. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. You you picked the right uh, person to get shot. <laughs> it's yeah. I don't know. It was a fun time. We used to do stupid shit. I hope we could do some more stupid shit in the future. You know. Yeah. Anyway, John, I appreciate you hopping on tonight. Yeah, this is fun. I hope you have I a like good night. I like these impromptu. Yeah, right? I I, I I, feel like, you know, I feel like I have to instigate it, but, like, anyone can really actually instigate it. You can, like, hey, I want to chat with my bros. Hey, everyone, you want to pop in? It doesn't take me. It could take anybody. You could, like, you know, I don't know. Anyway, you could literally you just say, hey, everyone, you want to hang out? I'm going to be in chat. That's true. You can just I, pop I, I in. I brought up... Jared, Jared is good at getting letting people know what his schedule is like if they put it out there. You know, I mean, sometimes I do it and no one shows up, so I'm just hanging out by myself. So like, you gotta like be okay with rejection. Ah, uh, gotcha. you know, it's cool. It's it is what it is. But like, maybe sometimes you know, someone does pop in, hangs out, and talks to you. Um, mm -hmm. So, don't be afraid of it. It's open to everybody. So, anyway. Well, thanks. Thanks for, uh, yeah. yeah, I'm glad we were able to do this and, uh, I, I'm happy that we're still doing it and I'm happy that you brought me back on. Uh, I mean, I was going to bring you back on anyway. I'm like, like, uh, you know, the idea you that you were going to get married and come back is like, Oh man, John's coming back. Maybe we can get John in. But like when you start talking and it's like, Hey man, we could do this anyway. You could do this now. Yeah. You want to pop in? It's like, yeah, let's get him in before he comes back. Then he, then he has to be a part of the show. <laughs> it's not hard. I don't know. Everyone thinks uh, technology has made things so much easier that. No, I think this is this was a, a the 
one of the best moves you guys could do. I mean, it's it's great that Discord allows it, and it's great that you know you have programs like OBS. So uh, here's we're the just other lucky thing. to have. Here's the other thing. You know, we were talking earlier about the show. Maybe we just do this all the time, and maybe we only do the couch show once a month. So we get together once a month and do the old school show, and then we do this show the rest of the week. Oh you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Like there's no, th- like I'm not trying to like say, hey, we have to get together every week and do this fucking show and burn ourselves out. You know, we could, I could bust my ass one week a month, and then we could just do this the rest of the month. You know, why not? I don't know. It doesn't even have to be that many times. It could be like one every other month. I just, it'd be fun to do the show again together and then just do this. This is just the standard way. You know what I mean? This is just Mm -hmm. what we do. And then, anyway, just ideas. I don't know. Maybe they're not. Who knows what they are? I don't know. I'm a creative individual. I'm open to creative ideas. No one ever seems to really have an idea. They just kind of roll with it. Like, and that's, it's like the, it's like the, like you mentioned earlier with the dates. It's like everyone, I just kind of put on everyone just kind of like, oh, okay. All right. Like no one ever really has an opinion. It's like you guys, man, just fucking choose. <laughs> confirm say you don't want to do it like i don't want to do it at all it's like okay <laughs> oh well anyway you just want more decisiveness or just, or just more some other a... input just some other input you know i just don't you I guys think, uh, well, yeah, go ahead no i think it's great that you're raising uh you're letting us know like i, I you can't do it all the time and I and I understand how exhausting it can be just to keep keep it going. I mean, I can do it most of the time. I just, you know, occasionally I'm gonna just want you guys to take over once in a while. That's all. <laughs> yeah. Well, it'll be cool to do it with uh, Dave. Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, I'm, uh, you know, I probably won't listen to it just because you guys are gonna like probably do some. Dave's gonna want to do some kind of stupid challenge where if I listen to it, he's gonna want me to play like a million video games and. Uh, so I'm just not going to listen to that. <laughs> so gonna, just just to let him know Elden that, Rings. John, just let him know that, like, hey, Dave, if you're going to, like, do the Ian challenge, he's never going to listen to this. <laughs> you'll listen to one of them eventually. You'll forget which one Dave did, and then you'll be like, Fuck. Dude, I can't li- – I don't listen to any of them. I kind of, like, quickly – I, I kinda, listen to them. Oh, well, that's cool. I kind of, like, skim through them. Well, because I have to kind of upload them and make sure they're, so I kind of, and then after I've skimmed through them and kind of listened to my funny parts, you're right. I will probably listen to the, I won't play, I won't probably listen to the entire thing, but I'll like make sure it's a fully formed episode and then upload it. But like after it's uploaded, I don't go back and listen to it. So, because I've worked on it. So like, you know, the episode Dave will record and then i'll have to add the intro and outro on it it'll render i'll check it to make sure it's cohesive upload it make sure the upload is cohesive and didn't upload weird and then when it's uploaded i won't go back to it so it's gonna be awesome if he hands it to you and then you're just like uh, we, he we just talks to me shit. Up. Yeah, like the whole time. It's I, just like it's just like, like poor quality, and then you're just or, or you're just like Dave. This file is one second long. Did you hit record? Well, I'm hoping that that doesn't happen. Uh, <laughs> I would imagine he. I would imagine that he would check the file before he sent it to me. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what's gonna happen, John? Is if. You know, it's funny now that I did this, and in retrospect, now thinking about it, if you guys fail (laughs) miserably, this is going up next. (laughs) Oh, you got one. Okay, that's good to keep it in your pocket. I mean, I'm just going to put this one out after it, but like if, uh, you know, don't let Dave know that. No, I really like, uh, like like I said, I think it's great that you're voicing that you want more creative input. And I think it's great that I, I was really happy for you that I know it's a lot of work for you, but the fact that you did like three pieces of content, each one different, like that Mass, F, 
Mass Effect episode was great. Thank you. Um, yeah, we did like yeah. Yeah, we did the beer thing with. I mean, the beer thing with Nick was just like last minute. But it was like fuck it, let's do this because I was just gonna post a couch co-op episode, you know. But like Nick was there and he wanted to do this thing. I was like, fuck it, we'll do this as a thirty-minute episode. Same thing. So like, we'll do that. We'll do the Mass Effect thing, and we'll do the. And then we'll do the 300 and it'll lead us. We'll have three new contents, but like I can always fall back on the couch co-hop episode. I mean, I have the Stella episode in the wings. It's just like, it's just waiting to like, that's the next episode of couch co-op. And that's 80 episodes. I have of that shit. So like, yeah, we're going to easily pop out a hundred episodes in this next year. If I'm, you know, if I kind of take a break and chill and everyone's cool and we start making content again, like just the way we are and everything's fine, we're going to pop out a hundred episodes, no problem. So we're going to be close to 500 episodes next year. And I don't see that's a problem. I think that's totally capable unless I die. But, uh, but I'm also open to like other ideas and things and stuff. So, all right. Couch co-op. I mean, uh, what is what is the ending? We should at least end it properly, right? I want to thank you all for listening. and remind you to leave feedback at thecouchcoopshow at gmail.com or head over to anchor.fm slash thecouchcoopshow and leave us a voice message. It's super easy to do. And there's a pretty good chance I'll play it on air. All you have to go is over to anchor.fm slash thecouchcoopshow and there's a button on the website and you hit the button that says message you hit that button on your phone or on your computer and you start recording the audio message that audio message then is recorded and then it's emailed to me it's emailed to me and then i can just play it on the show it's super easy but no one does it anyway i want to thank you for joining me here on the couch for couch co-op i'm ian reminding you to please be excellent to each other.